Hey, 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 what's up, guys? Welcome to the stream. How y'all doing? Welcome to my first full YouTube stream. Not the first stream, but the first full YouTube stream. How's it going, guys? Domagosh, Skilian, Kujak, Potato Cakes, Zero, Cheezer, Francisco, Viana, Kralux, Kirktown. It reads very different than online chosen nicknames, huh? Uh, many of you are using, uh, presumably, real name. <laughs> Stone Move 420, Excalibur, hi guys. Hunter Seeker, yo. Glad you could remake it, Remastered. Watch your polygon count with me, Remastered. You, Arthas, you may be fully remodeled, but I'm still your superior as a re-envisioned character. Guten Abend, hi. Discourage, hey, Anthony Clink. Maybe, maybe not. Hey, Kaitan. <laughs> yeah, Kralex is a totally legit real name, Kraffa. Monochromatic, hi. After how many years are you still playing WC3? Oh, we're going on uh, 20 years now, aren't we? Over 20 years. Hi, Elke. One on Mart. How's Doggo doing? Oh, he's great. And he knows he's a good Doggo, don't you, Logan? You're a good boy. He's quite sure about that. Uh, a couple of you people asked in the pre-chat why streaming on YouTube. It's a couple of reasons a couple of reasons it's part push part pull as things usually are you know about push and pull reasons uh, reasons to be more excited about a new thing and less about a previous you know that kind of stuff i can't stream on both at the same time the existing partnership arrangement with twitch still stipulates no simultaneous streaming on long form content like youtube and facebook not simultaneous but I can stream on them separately. So I have a long and existing fan base on Twitch. So it's not as simple as let's just switch or let's just do it. Right? And I love my community on Twitch and I've built up a lot on Twitch. But Twitch has made some changes that made it. Uh, um, they've made some changes that make it less um, attractive for streamer and yet I'm still happy to stream there but I am considering uh, everything that's possible and they have made some non-changes like things they could have changed to be to improve that maybe they haven't for instance the quality difference uh, the site's usability uh, discoverability and so on and then YouTube, uh, the pool for YouTube is uh, a different audience. Some of you may never watch Twitch. You go to YouTube to watch cat and dog videos, and then you see me live. But you don't go to Twitch for cat and dog videos, and so you don't know when I'm live. Or you don't like using Twitch because of the ads. All right? So, uh, and then YouTube has, so it's discoverability on YouTube. And then there is the, uh, the fact that YouTube quality can be a lot higher. So right now, my streaming specs on YouTube are a lot higher uh, than on Twitch. So if we take a look at it. Can I show my settings? I think I can. Let me see. Mm, display capture. Is this safe to show? Wait, let me see if, if I show my stream key or anything. <laughs> uh-huh uh-huh okay i can show this i can show this so if you go to settings on the streaming software you can go to video i'm streaming at two uh 2560 times 1440 60 fps and i'm streaming at 20,000 bitrate and on twitch that's limited to 1080p and 8,000 bitrate 
So you'll notice a lot crisper signal on your smart TVs, your big screens and whatnot. So that's nice. Let's enjoy it. And today I want to fully dedicate it to streaming on YouTube. Hey Grubby, says Alexander Schliff. May I ask you, how can I get the information that you have displayed, like map name? Okay. You're going to want to use an app called W3 Booster. <coughs> Excuse me. I put it in the chat. All right, it's nearly 3 a.m. here. First time seeing Grubby Live, says Norb. I've never played Warcraft 3 outside the campaign. And once more in the Clown Fiesta with similar newbie friends. So let's make this fun, boys. Yeah, let's start playing soon. <sighs> Can we vote somewhere for game mode? FFA, please. Okay, let's begin with an FFA. A classic. Maybe this time it'll even get counted. My two previous games were not counted in the placements by Blizzard. Let's see if this one will be. We'll only play bad heroes. We're playing random, but we can open with a tavern hero. The only thing we can't play is Naga. A randomly se I feel like this is the only funny thing Blizzard did with Reforged. A randomly selected race. It could be anything. It could even be the Naga. It's not the Naga. And this is playing into people's expectations that maybe Blizzard's going to release a new race in Reforged? Are they going to release the Naga as a playable race? Welcome to the stream, Froopy Noob. Joining from my bathtub. Nice to see you in high res on the big screen. Bro, <laughs> you got a screen in your bathtub? Damn. Do you have any marketable skills? No. Or don't. What will you do when you aren't streaming anymore? I'll just play off stream. Yeah. I'll just play off stream. Are you planning on playing Dota today? Not today. Tomorrow I will. Today was dedicated to YouTube stream, George Alexandrian. As you see, unlike my YouTube videos, on a live stream, we can't cut for brevity. So you actually have to see the queue time. You've been missing out on this, guys. Q time, let's go. Just message a malt or put an unbound request. It doesn't sound legit, Demetrius. Corby, aren't you like 55 years old? No, no, you confused my age with my IQ. Where's the donation link on the channel? I don't have one. Uh, I think it's automatic via YouTube, no? Or may yeah, I don't. I think you can add panel or whatever. But how about you just sub to the grub? Just hit the subscribe button. I think that would be lovely already. Sub to the grub. Oh, FFA on Lost Temple. Let's go. Lost Temple. Nice. I like FFA here. And we are spawning as human. And I think there is a tavern these days, so we can open with the tavern hero. Let's open with the Tyrant Hero. Yes, me lord. Yes, me lord. Ready to work. Yes, me lord. Yes, me lord. Off I go there. Is it? Uh, what hero shall we get? Alchemist. Yes, me lord. Tinker. Beastmaster. Fire Lord. What is it? What? Panda. Pit Lord. Dark Ranger. Yay, I made it to a grubby livestream finally. Nice, Steven Alexander. Ready 
Beastmaster, please. Okay, let's play Beastmaster. I saw a bunch of Beastmasters. Hey, thanks for becoming a member, Kralux. Appreciate it. Cute Doggo, what's his name? His name is Logan. But he also listens to Doggo and Good Boy. Did you see his head perk up when I said Doggo? You good Doggo, Logan. You good boy. Ready for action. I almost thought Logan said ready for action. Did you see that? Uh, we should fast expand. Team Doge. We don't have to scout where the opponent are, because they are everywhere. Let's get defend upgrade. So two footy into defend upgrade. It's uh, it's quite nice. It allows you to. Oh, let me get the beast master. It allows you to immediately tank the creeps, taking not so much damage. We could actually just scout to see who are next to us. We'll sacrifice some creeping speed, but in return, we get to know where they are. Not, not bad. Defend is almost done. Can just wait for that. So a uh, human is here and he's going for a lumber mill and a blacksmith and a tower. Quite a lot of infrastructure being at tier one. Okay, we can fast expand that. Orc is here. We'll use player colors so you can see who's who. Is he expanding? Can we see it on time? Not expanding. Okay. I think it'd be safe to get a tower. And another thing that's really helpful is to build a farm here. So you know when they're coming. But for now, we'll just send a hog. Keep ourselves safe. Can you play one game with low APM? I'm still learning. Yeah, we'll do an instructional game next. Uh, Kayla, remind me after the game, okay? I'll do a real slow game, though it's always hard for me to be that slow. <laughs> feel like we should take another expansion. Fighting for mids is cool and all, but I think taking another expo is even better. Come on, Warcraft 3 is not really that APM intensive. I mean, isn't it? For some people. Surat? You went for the He went for the staff of teleport. Just sacrifice footies. Oh, 
Almost. Lost. My peasant. But not quite. It's a pretty small map, so if you don't immediately start claiming expansions, they're gonna be gone. Of course, you could also focus on like unique units. I don't want to piss him off. It's not that valuable to get eco damage on him compared to not making enemies. They're taking mid. My foot is. Let's see if they have bases yet. He has a base. Need lots of towers. So he has a finished base. We all have an expansion. No, thank you, Ojo. Is there shredder on the map? Yes, there is. We can go get one now. I think it'll be helpful. Get someone shredder before they can get it. Ah, it's be already been gotten. This one hasn't. Hmm. We kill the burrow. <laughs> we go for the other one then. Efficient is otherwise, but. I think we tried to Griffin Rush one guy. And then we take their base, because we're going to need more bases. So I think we have to Griffin Rush one guy. Let's see. We already need to make our aviaries if we want it to finish on time. So let's start making it. Ouch. Ah, uh, footies is whatever. I can even use a sapper. Oh, come on. Yeah, okay, fine. You take it. I don't want it anyway. Uh, we have to kill him first for this insult. More masonry for protection. Yeah, bloodlust is scary. We need hammer, storm hammers, and animal war training. Okay, we're getting it. 
Uh, I guess we should try to go for purple. Purple had his expansion the earliest, which means he's potentially the most dangerous. These bases run out pretty fast. Uh, we should keep the class we have. There's no marketplace. Every single item is valuable. There we go. Uh, second hero... Mountain King, then Paladin, I guess. That, 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 that's a little bit too much towers. Uh, we could just start by towering first. He barely sees me. He just sees me a bit. Should be okay. We have max masonry. Hey, I thought they removed imbued masonry. Level 3. I guess they didn't. Maybe they nerfed it in another way. Okay, we gotta be fast. Because the other guy is coming. Oh my god, he has a Doom Guard. My mountain king. My griffins. Damn it, he broke through. These towers don't do shit, they got all these high level items. Even my three upgraded towers don't do anything. Job done. Our town 
Oh god. Siege engines. Yikes. I need more Tars too. Okay, the best way to make someone leave is ask leave, please. And if that doesn't work... Oh, God. No. Oh, oh my God. They're so pro. If that doesn't work, then you focus their main hero. I need to TP there, but can I even defeat him? Yeah, what's wrong with mass griffins? Dude, my towers. CJ. Mass Griffins doesn't work against 150 pop of enemy units. Yeah. And it's a very diverse army. Okay. I won my last two FFAs. If this freaking counts, I am going to write a nasty review of Reforged on Metacritic. Wait, let me restart. The application encountered an unexpected error. No, I don't think anyone didn't expect that. Please use the report ID below when communicating about Blizzard with Blizzard about this issue. I think everyone expected that. All right, hold up. Let's restart. Wasn't it 3v1? No, it was FFA, but they didn't know that. So they played 2v1. Okay, it better be gone, the FFA record. Oh. Oh, it did count them. It just didn't display the counting of it. Okay, so after the third FFA game, it finally did show everything 2-1. Okay, all right. Well, that's not too bad. It was like an in-between counting issue. They played 3v1? Maybe. Right as I was going for the other guy. Oh, actually, yeah, it's true. They did 3v1. Because the orc cross-mapped me. They did. Sometimes you just accidentally queue for 1v3 instead of a, of a very common mistake. Oh, man. You forgot to sub to the grab. Oh, yeah. Well, I lost. So I, I was like, should I even be sending this? Accidentally queuing for 1v3 when you thought it's FFA. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's play with Orc. All right, we always have some new players watching the Warcraft stream. And today, one of them asked, can you play a game without high APM? Every now and then you see me guys starting a game and it's like... It's like, oh, what are you doing on your keyboard? Well, I'm going to commentate 
what I'm doing on the keyboard right now inside the games. And I'm going to keep my APM, my actions per minute, deliberately low so that you can follow what I'm doing and reproduce it in your own games. I'm not quite going to play with one hand, but I will have long deliberate pauses where I'm not doing anything or I'm not doing anything much. I may even make some gasp mistakes due to my slowness. This is a difficult request for me to do, but I'll do my best at it as soon as we find a game. Oh, I didn't mean to search FFA for that. Okay, sure, yeah. Uh, it was meant to be one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's just uh, do the slowest possible FFA APM. What do you want? I, can do that. I have never done this. This was meant to be in one-on-one. -on -one. After you build an altar, your peon inside is still selected and you can simply do a right click on the tree. Ready to work. Something is doing. I could actually play one-handed. One-handed FFA. Yeah. Let's play one-handed FFA. I think that'll make it slow enough. Because a lot of you people don't even use hotkeys. So you actually click all the icons, and while that may give me the shivers when I see it, it's true and real, so... Yeah, no keyboard. We, uh, we won't use keyboard at all. Even for control groupings. So, control F5. I don't even know if I'll be referring to these. So, we'll try to play a good game style, but it's gonna be one-handed. So, again, FFA on... Lost Temple. I'll open with the farce here. And I'm hoping that this FFA really is FFA and not 3v1 like my previous FFA where I got double teamed by the two next to me and even the opponent on the other side of the map cross mapped to me. Yes. So rather than going for a fast triple base with a very greedy opening, this time let's try to play more aggressive and eliminate one of the contestants early in order to give ourselves some more living space. Yeah, we'll try to stay under 100 APM no matter what. I think that will be nice. Uh, we'll go for a fast tier one expansion and then we'll try to attack the person next to our expansion as that will allow us to defend our expansion aggressively, if you will. Control one. And now we're gonna bring a peon. So early tier one expo, we could do like one grand tier one expo. This will give us a faster tier two. I think that makes sense to do it that way. Uh, we try to tank with fires here, piercing attacks. Whereas wolves should be the one that uh, tanks secondarily. You don't want to tank with wolves immediately because you need to wait till your next wolf cooldown is available. So a little bit of tanking with your fires here, which have good armor and regen rates. Uh, we will make mo one more grunt and then we're going to go uh, tier two. Now we're going to wolf scout. Uh, the grunt, we're going to rally it to our fires here, which you can use the icon top left for. Ah. Uh, I'm not going to be able to stay under 100 uh, APM. I'm sorry, I can see that already. <laughs> uh, we go tier T. So really nice timing to go tier T, uh, tier two. Not too bad at all. Every vengeance. Thanks for becoming a member, man. Remember, if you like content like this, just hit the sub button on YouTube, subscribe, so you'll know when next there will be more like it. Uh, we'll check if he's expanding or not. This is a lumber mill tower opening on purple. We'll make another grunt. And no expo yet. Um, then I think we will try to conquer mid before others do. Make the voodoo lounge. I can't shift click. Kill the purges first so that they don't dispel the wolves like that. 
Then you kill the poisoners. Piercing have high damage on units. Okay. Uh, we have to pull back for a bit. Uh, another burrow needed. Control group zero usually for my expos. I'm gonna have to pull the grunts back that are hurt. I can't micro them well enough to keep them here, to keep them safe. I can't add that grunt to my control group either, that was just made. Uh, if I kill the two level ones, I'm actually level three, so that will make the rest easier to creep. Okay. We'll make three new peons here, as we'll need a lot of wood, and we'll send one from here. Oh, I'm lacking four XP, right. You get less XP from creeps when you're higher, so it's no longer 20-20, but I'm probably getting like 18-18, yeah. Uh, let's see if we can chain lightning and kill a footman. That would level us up. Next hero is gonna be Tarn Chieftain. I think one hit and chain lightning will do it. If my grunts will let me pass. Okay. There we go. I got the surround. Let's go Tarn Chieftain. No, that's a blade. This is Tarn Chieftain. Okay, let's make a uh, spirit lodge and bring the low grounds. This is uh, quite a struggle. Thank you for becoming a member, Dijuvota. Uh, War mill. Probably more peon. Tank with the wolves. Got a healing ward. Uh, let's make a bestiary as well. Okay, now I think we do a quick scout. Oops, I didn't mean to buy a healing pot. I know the hotkey is better than the location. I think, do I need to get a shredder? I think I do need to get a shredder. Despite the extra peons I made, shredder will be important. Brute strength, pillage. Okay, we found him, check his main. This one didn't expand. Maybe we can just make a healing ward to make it easier. Uh, Witch Doctor. I like Witch Doctors in FFA. Vision is king. Let's try to get only XP with um, TC. Okay. Tier 3, Kodo, huh? no lumber. Return resources. Raider, let's get Raider. Okay, another burrow. It's pretty low army. Should probably give claws to Farseer. God, it really, if I watched the replay of this guy, I would think this guy is not very good. Like, his unit control, <laughs> it's hard to watch. But what can you say? Turns out we don't always know everything about each other.
Yeah, let's keep attacking. Oh. Oh. No, my raider. So he does have uh, an expansion. He's just not using it that much. Nice, 51 pop. Perfect. Get the most. Get the most out of your army, 51 population. Forgot about those. Okay, let's make Tauren Totem. I like going Wyvern Tauren. Uh, we get master training yes. and then uh, spirit lodge. We're under Eat the sheep. I know a custom map like that. Hey, wait, this is a bestiary. This is supposed to be a totem. It, it trolled me. Different one. Ah, uh, melee. Ah, uh, melee is the least important. Nice to see you again here, Grubby. Hey, nice to see you, Ego. Am I permanently streaming on YouTube? No, uh, maybe just sometimes. Speak, Chieftain. Shaman upgrade. Double totem. Uh, maybe we can expand here, but we'll do it via, uh, I suppose, Voodoo Lounge. Kind of like Brood War. You don't really control your units in uh, in Brood War. Uh, with You don't control it with control groups. You just keep sending them around, because you've got all your barracks on control groups in that game. Armor. All right, let's see how the next YOLO attack on this base is going to work. Oh, Speak, Chieftain. Does, it, does this feel like... Just horrendous micro control. It's really hard for me to watch. This base must be purged. He went for a healing ward, but at what cost? Yeah, we got him. Okay. When you got him, you can let Wyverns. These two Wyverns kill the peasants. And you keep raiders to kill the buildings, because this gives you money. And then we go heal. Pulverize. Three armor upgrades. Okay, all the peasants are killed. Kill all the sheep. So what's he got? Headhunters, berserkers, and he's walking information. Very important. That's a mirror image. 
Okay, I don't think we want to go just into high upkeep yet. So let's not. Uh, third hero should probably just be Shadow. Can make another base. Yeah, you think they're keeping each other busy? Probably. Oh, yeah. You know, I always loved backstabbing in FFA to join a fight that was already ongoing. Isn't that so much fun? And then they're always like, teamers! Like, no, I have vision, you're fighting. Isn't that what FFA is all about? If they're wondering, I didn't uh, agree to fight with the guy. I'm just making use of an opportunity. Why wouldn't I? It's tactically sound. I'm pretty sure he's going to have to corner. Oops. Come on, Torrance. Join the battle. More upgrades. Don't look at the fight for 10 seconds. See if they have the corner. Hey, he lived. Oh, right. They can still live if you rapidly move away because they don't take much damage anymore once they have no mana. We should probably get a 100% tech score. So here we go. I think that's all of it. Liquid fire. Yeah, there we go. See him? Scoundrel. Scoundrel that he is. Taking more bases. Not on my watch. Why am I not using a hotkey? I'm playing one handed. One handed FFA. To simulate the average plebeian. And to make what I do more copyable. Yo, JP's, thank you. I am able to help. Let's uh, make torrents and wyverns. We're maxing. Now uh, we can get one more spike and then melee attack. Upgrade. We need more number. All right. Uh, burrow, perhaps. Yep. Probably finish off blue before we go anywhere else. He's trying to expand again. Kirby, when you said you stream all day on YouTube, I thought you'd begin 8 a.m. morning time. Like 24 hour stream. What a disappointment. I told everyone like you said. Well, I have never in my life done a 24 hour stream. When I said stream all day, you assumed that I meant the night as well and I would not sleep. <laughs> That's, uh, I'd say we have shared responsibility in that. You were not the only one that understood that phrasing. But... I never said 8 a.m. I said full YouTube stream or YouTube stream all day. So I can see the confusion. Thanks for streaming on YouTube. Hope you will continue. I'll continue for now. He's, he's dead, right? He left. 
Yeah, it's only Teal left. And we can stop hitting him. There he is. Chomp. Oh. Clarity. Mana. Cell heal ward. User settings on TC. Okay. All right. Send everything in. Just need one more melee attack upgrade. Oh wait, we need more than that. We're maxed. Where's my units? Yes, let's go. Anything here? Anything here? Anything here? Raider. One raider here. One here. There we go. Oh, he's hero focusing. <laughs> I, mean, I, I should have had at least one heal potion on uh, my Farseer. Oh no, other units are going in. Wait. Go. No. Ah, late arrivals. Let's go. We lost 10 pop. Yeah, kill the shredder. Victory for the horde! Almost earthquake again. GG! One hand versus six hands. Presumably. One versus six hands. Oh, luckily the game didn't go too long. Any perks with YouTube stream? Oh, remember, sub to the grub! There we go. Got it. Uh, any perks with YouTube streaming other than potentially new crowd? Uh, yeah, 1440p and 20,000 bitrate. What were you doing with the other hand? Dude, get your head out of your ass. It was in my neck. And plus, that play wasn't that orgasmic anyway. Yeah, I, I can't get off on one-handed gameplay. New to the live stream, what time is it where you are, Grub? I'm USA. It's uh, 8, uh, 8.40 p.m. right now. And for you, if you're in New York, it's uh, 3 p.m., 3.40. And if you're in Cali, it's 12.40. Streaming quality is really crisp. Yeah, it's nice. First time watching on YouTube, loving it. Nice. So now let's do a slow APM. We must stay under 100 APM one on one game. I can use two hands, but I must stay under 100. So it's all about efficiency. When will the super chats donations be open or do you need some count? Uh, Adexo, hi. I don't know how to set that up yet. So yeah, it's <laughs> For now, I'm just looking for subs to the grubs. That's about it. How come you did not age in 20 years? I've been drinking Moonwell juice. You should try it. Yeah, you go into the elf base, you kill all the elves, and you take the juice for yourself. Like Obelix and Asterix and Obelix. Dirko, thank you for uh, becoming a supporter. Thank you for joining. If you listen very closely, you can hear Peon saying, Sup, Grub. Sup, sup. Did you hear it?
Okay, guys, for this one, efficiency will be key. For I have undertaken the challenge to stay under 100 APM. If I do one meaningless click, let God judge me. I'm allowed to use both hands, but no click wasting. He's not, he doesn't have any calories and I don't have any wasted clicks. <laughs> Ready to work. Actually, I think blades is fewer clicks, but canceling the fire seer kind of counts as two clicks. Ready to work. How does the monetization work if a viewer is a YouTube premium member? Well, you should see it like this. My echoes have gone rouge. Ready to work. Work and you should see it like this. And I don't know if it's true because you never know if it's true, but supposedly some people get ads. And if you're a YouTube premium member, every ad you would have gotten, excuse me, every ad you would have gotten gets paid out to the content creator, uh, whatever, how many, one cent, two cent. And that's how that works. But whether that's true or not, you'll never know. You think you, you think you meant rogue? Maybe. Excellent choice. Thanks to my brains. Time to die. Well, this is a very nice low APM, isn't it? I think he just unsummoned this necropolis, but that does make the first tryhard game where I managed to win with a 40 APM. With a 40 APM score. I believe Wendy's was closed today. So let's go to the next game. Are those extra clicks? No, no. Uh, let's go to game number two. Alright guys, this is iteration number two of playing with as low of an APM as possible. You can see the APM on the screen. If I have one wasted click, I will be dissatisfied with the situation. I can use two hands, but I'll try to have none of that rally point spam that some people have noticed. Now, technically, running these peons into the mine can create a small optimization with four peons. But I'm gonna let that go in order to try and keep my APM as low as possible. So far, none of my clicks have been superfluous. Every single one has served a purpose. I've added control groups to Altair, Stronghold, the Great Hall and the Barracks. I've set rally points, but never more than once. And all the peons have been sent back to work after building their building without any reconfirmations that I often feverishly do. So it's a definitely, definitely a very different experience. Did you ever figure out the no XP bug from the lightning shield kill from the previous video? No, uh, I didn't actually go test that again. So I don't know what happened with that. Hey, noobish, what's up? How's it going? Are you going to beta test Stormgate? Yeah, I expect any RTS that's coming out that is of note, uh, that, it's, that, is, that is big, I'm going to be trying them out and I'm going to be showing you my first playthroughs of it and also share my thoughts. Just like the recent Diablo 4 and I've given my review on that as well. Save APM, use one rally point with grouping altar barracks together. No, no, the, the, it, that goes too far. It must be hard to hold the clicks. It's very hard. 
It's very, very hard. For me, not to spam clicks, it's like for a playboy not to flirt. You know you have the power, and yet you have to hold all of it back and just watch. It's very tough. Ah, I just did two illegal clicks. Yo, Grubby, waar in Nederland kom je eigenlijk vandaan? Uh, ik ben geboren in Nieuwegein in provincie Utrecht, maar daar woon ik inmiddels niet meer. Ring of Protection. Not on Twitch today. Today is a full YouTube stream. Okay, let's make Voodoo Lounge. Uh, right here. Huh? Huh? What is that language? Yeah, yeah, I have two Panzerfausts in the küche. <laughs> map looks great. Yeah, it's a nice map. It's um, it's user made. What race are we against? Alga official undead. Sprichst du Deutsch? Ja, ich spreche auch Deutsch. Ich finde Deutsch ein sehr schöne und tolles Sprache und ich spreche es gerne. Hans, get the Flammenwerfer! No, 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 no flamethrowing here. Oh, beetles! And the fact that he has a beetle in our base, it really makes it very likely that he has an expansion. Crypt Lord is exceptionally well suited to expansion tactics. So I do believe that he is currently summoning a haunted gold mine. Leave two grants at home to defend. Save these from cancellations. Yes. We're gonna have to make a torrent totem. And oh, I'm actually playing one handed by accident. Yeah, kind of as a as an unintentional extra. I have not been using my left hand. I guess it's because I'm afraid of over clicking. But that's just too crazy. Okay. Let's get the uh, Goblin Shredder. Pretty much have enough. Our APM is going dangerously high. This is big problem. Very dangerously high. I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't know why it's going up. It sucks. I didn't think I'm doing much. We'll go check his expansion. It's not easy to kill Acolyte, but we can try to snipe a couple. Yeah, we didn't even get one. This guy is not bad. Quick reactions. Wait, did he just get a full wall off? No, it's not. Maybe he thought he can get a full wall off, but he didn't. Look at my freaking APM! How is it a hundred? 
I'm not trying to hit anything. Check his uh, main base. He did not dust me. He does have Nerup here too. Oh, I'm pressing way too many buttons, but it's so hard. We stand as one. Who's trapped? Who? Damn it, I'm over a hundred. Oh man, what a failure. Let's get Torrent Chieftain. No, we can't get Torrent Chieftain yet. We have to get Expo first. Look at my freaking APM rising. No. I thought that was his script lord. You gotta leave now and do it again? No, dude, like, I'm doing my best already. Give me a break. Any break givers? Uh, bone chimes, not bad. Devotion aura, not bad. But I don't think any of it is worth the money. Oh, 120. It's so tough. Let's see what he has. He's tier 3. Double slaughterhouse. Looks like... Uh, Looks like mass destroyers. Can get a heal scroll in the Can give ring to DC and Venom Spears. Pulverize. Armor. Burrow. Oh my god, I feel myself pressing buttons. Okay, I think we have to attack before destroyers come out. I'll 
I'll switch to me, blue, him, red. Okay, not a bad fight, considering I spent much of that uh, under 50. And now we can quickly creep. We have the Wyverns to deal with his destroyer morph, and we'll make one torrent to deal with the ground. And we'll need to make Kota Beast for damage amp. Kodos with drums. There is another camp to be taken here. Which will be very helpful. One more Tauren and then more Wind Riders. See if we can get another uh, invul potion. Very useful. Okay, we'll get a heal scroll. See if we can save the burrow. Nice. Oh, damn it! 150 AP. <laughs> no. Oh. My, my voice when I see that I got 30 APM in a single fight. Oh. Anyway, sub to the grab, GG. 150 APM is very, very little for me. But the weird thing is, when I was a new player in Warcraft 3 and starting to make a name for myself, and actually good in the European ladder, not just an unknown scrub, but a good player, I was around 150, 180 APM. I got a lot faster over the time as the years went on. You become my favorite content creator. I see you every day before going to sleep, says Holbreak. I can't sub because I'm from a poor country, but your content makes me very happy. Hey, you never need to. Always take care of yourself first. And when you say sub, you probably mean join membership and be a paid supporter, but you never need to always take care of yourself first. Subbing, you actually can do because, well, Twitch following is called subbing here. So it just means that you'll be sub to the channel. That's it. It's free. You just go to below the video player and hit sub. It helps. It helps already. Yeah, APM is calculated over the whole game and then displayed as an average. It is not 
uh, a rolling 60 seconds average. I think a lot of that speed increase can be attributed to watching other high level players who do it though. It's a learned function. Yeah, for sure. Because at first you don't know it's necessary. If, if, if you have a fish tank and there's five fish and you catch one with your hands, you, you say to yourself, that's good enough. I'm eating for a day, I've got a fish, right? But if there's six people and five fish, you'll quickly learn to be a lot quicker. And that's what competition is all about, isn't it? And it's especially seeing other people play in real life, not seeing them play. Well, we didn't have streams yet back then. So you needed to see other people in real life in order to put in perspective other people being faster or so. And as you get to tournaments, you see other people play. You're thinking, I'm better than this guy at this aspect. But I'm worse than this guy at that aspect. So you try to improve. I'm glad you like to relax with the stream, GR LN. Gozer, what's your favorite ras? Uh, I have a lot of tournaments played with Orc. That's my favorite. I'm speaking some Dutch to a Dutch viewer. Heel veel toernooien gespeeld met Ork. Ik vind Ork het allerleukst. Ik heb ook wel toernooien gespeeld met elk ander ras. Vooral Human, daarna Elf. En twee toernooien spelen ooit met Undead. Of Ondood. Uh, maar Ork is mijn favoriete. Hey Grubby, are, am I going to be missing some Warcraft Twitch games if I only watch livestream on YouTube? Or... Are there still single games on YouTube stream on Twitch? I still play games on Twitch that don't make it to YouTube, Capoeira. But these days there is a higher ratio that makes it to YouTube. Because I think more about what kind of game I want to play. Ich verstehe Niederländisch einigermaßen gut. Yeah, it's quite similar, isn't it? Oh, hey, Joshua Keys, Rain, yeah, <laughs> what's up? Okay. Human, undead, okay. All right, uh, now I'm gonna do a build that I've been wanting to do for some time. It's stealing as many items as possible. Probably have to thumb down Concealed Hill because it doesn't work that well there. Basically, you want to have as few ensnare creeps as possible. And some maps have more than others. There's a lot on this one. Actually, a lot of people, a lot of maps have ensnare, don't they? We just want to, we want to take what isn't ours, if that makes sense. Are you still in contact with other 4K players? Uh, other, uh, I'm not in contact with any 4K players right now. I am curious how uh, Zeus is doing, Kiko, Tillerman. Oh, yeah, no contact. The pickpocket build, yeah. And, and I want to do some chat GPT strats. What would be an effective way of stealing in Warcraft 3? As a language model, I cannot condone or encourage any form of illegal or unethical behavior, including stealing in video games such as Warcraft 3. Alright. Alright. Stealing is not a legitimate strategy in Warcraft 3 and can be seen as exploiting? Really? Wait, let me read that again. In Warcraft 3, stealing cannot be condoned or encouraged as it's illegal and unethical and it cannot be a, a, a legitimate strategy. Well, I beg to differ. And I'm about to show how and why. You're wrong, AI. This is why you'll never evolve to my beautiful form. We're gonna steal from our boss. <laughs> Bet y'all thought about that before. Don't steal from any boss, by the way. Gonna steal from the big boss. 
I always knew Grogi was cheating. No, I wasn't. I have never cheated. But I'm about to engage in borderline illegal or unethical behavior. What's this race? He's an orc. He's an orc, okay. Can shades get backpack? No, they can't. They absolutely cannot. They are not in the process of being able to. Chat, we do not. Watch, we do not condone stealing here on youtube.com slash at followgrubby. Exactly. You tell them, mods. You gaslight. Uh, I mean, you tell them. Oh, that's why there was no stream on Twitch. You're streaming here. Yeah, exactly. I stole the Twitch stream. With this one. How do you intend to steal without Windwalk? Ah, there's many ways. If you are a Warcraft criminal like me, you can find many ways to steal. It starts with a backpack. Gives specific undead ground units the ability to commit crimes. <laughs> nice. Sounds good. Let's commit a crime in Warcraft. Research complete. Is complete. I heard something. We missed an opportunity. He has critical strike first. That means we can actually surround him, you know. <laughs> Until he levels up, we can surround him. Don't crit, just don't crit. I hunger. I must hunt soon. Very well. You thought of that. Well, let's uh, let's send in a skeleton. Cancel that solve. We should uh, kill every creep except the one that holds the item. We can't steal from him if we take it first. I'm like uh, I'm like a dog. The branch isn't interesting until the human takes it. Then I want it. He feels too watched. You thought of that. He feels like I'm watching. Our forces are under attack. Am I accidentally finding a valid way to play? He still feels very watched. <laughs> He's like me in a public urinal. I can't do it when you're watching. Where'd he go? That's a level six grade, mate. That's not safe. Oh, 
<laughs> Yoink. It tastes even more replenishing when, when it came from him. <laughs> oh, I have nothing left. Okay, okay. What is it? My life for I will not hunt soon. Now we still have a chance to steal the trapper item. That was my plan. If he hasn't crept it yet. If our patrol is here, I'll know. When it wakes up, because he'll ensnare me, because creeps have map hack. He's right here. What is it now? I can't show the Beric Ara. Oh, oh, oh. What is it now? It's not here. Then he might be doing this. Yep. What is it now? Summon you thought of that. That was my plan. Go an arcane tower. What one more? What is it now? He didn't take the trapper yet. Very well. We have a shade. Our boots good on Dreadlord. Yeah, they're so good. I feel like it's I feel like it's damn near mandatory to get them. Because he's so slow with us. Uh, let's just get frenzy. Okay, he's on his expo. Do we have frenzy yet? No, but it's coming. Let's see what he's getting. Maybe a tiny great hole? No tiny great hole yet. He's thinking about what to get. There it is. Let's see if he can find a place to build it. Can't build there. Something in the way. My sight is yours. I shall be your eyes. All shall be revealed. What needs revealed? Can't build there. <laughs> Freaking buggy reforged won't let me plant my damn great hole down. So is he gonna go to another base now? Uh, I have stolen workers before, by the way. I've never stolen. Oh, shit. I've never stolen all the workers. What needs revealing? What? My sight is yours. 
yours. I must hunt soon. I shall be in this Very well. What? That's how we do it, Ace! That's why we leave it! Worth it! That's why we don't kill the trapper. I shall be your eyes. I didn't get the kill. Plan. I shall be your wife. What must I do? What is it now? You thought of my sight is yours. Hey, he's getting to be quite strong. Summon more cigarettes. Where more gold for feeling. Greetings. I shall be your eyes. <laughs> Yoink. We have to uh, sleep his uh, blade so that he can't TP. That's where we strike with our second attack. Was close. We won. We didn't die thanks to the helm of valor. Now we can do some long distance mining. Lumber mining again. Yo, why aren't they returning gold? Surely they can return gold to a black citadel now. They don't need to be told. It's a bit weird. Where's my shade, by the way? Please tell me they can return gold to a citadel. Today I TIL'd! I, I can't tell you if this is working appropriately or not. I have never been in a position where I've tried this. Literally. That's so weird. Alright then. A great haul it is. Yeah. 
Oh, I think he has no TP this time. He has no TP, I think. You don't want me to have towers, huh? We have speed scroll on our banshee. What is it now? What must I do? What must I do? Does he have any more dust? Oh, but his blade master is decked out big time. Tri quadruple circuit, orb of lightning, cloak of flames, and he's a true shot and scroll the beast. He's just not mining a lot, is he? Not mining a lot at all. Oh, right. I'm full. Oh, no, 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 no. <sighs> Where's my witch doctor? Oh, no, I lost it. So I just get to have this one sentry that I have. Can I take a vile temptress? No. It's too high level. Level 5 and below only. Brandon, ready! I think I only need one sapper. What is it now? Oh my claws! Oh! Uh -huh. uh -huh. Oh! Right, I had I had a backpack claws on the banshee, she leaves it behind. She's like, where I'm going, I have no need of this. I'm a peon now. What is it now? Any tiny great hall recreation? He has a sentry here, so he sees this whole thing. It's very unfortunate. No. No! Come on! Ah! Damn. Ah, sentry, yes, sentry, yes, sentry. Um, okay, actually. Ouch. Lots of sentries. We need to generate some corpses. And we need to bring sacrificial skulls and an acolyte. Actually, this is the only speed score I'll have. What a waste. I should have used it on uh, the corpses. Where are the graveyards? Where should we make graveyards? Ah, uh, we need another acolyte to see if he sees me. Because we need to find a fertile planting ground for our graveyards. But we need to make sure he can't see it. And right now I'm feeling he is seeing things with sentries.
I think he he sees dead things. Okay. Let's make let's make uh, skeletons here. We have a plan. We just need the space to execute it. What are you looking at? Shade follows skeletons, and they will mind sweep. I wish only to serve you. Okay, that didn't work. And we ran out of... Shall we settle for the second objective of just trying to win this godforsaken game? I need, I need TC as well. I don't have enough inventory slots. Would graveyards fit here? I don't have money for graveyards even anymore. Okay. items to TC ring plus four pretty good oh well ghouls and necros making side money yeah Cripple is very expensive, but it's quite effective. Making shadow. GG. What game is this? Warcraft 3. What 4K gold. Ah. Uh, need make walkers. Many. Ebot? I don't know what that is. I remember to stuff to the grub. Huh. We stole a couple of items. We blocked this great hole. But we didn't steal... Oh, 
And we stole the crown. That was nice. The Helm of Valor. That was good. He bought his beat. Uh, I think it's probably more to do with the Russian swear word. Is this real? Hi, how's it going, Maximilian Koenig? Unethical win. Good. Next, I want to do a proper chat GPT strategy, but I need some inspiration. What do we ask chat GPT? In that context, it meant uh, WTF. Ah, okay. It's like uh, something like, well, fuck. Or so. Sorry for the language. Well, F it. Why not stream on both? Cannot. Ask chat GPT how to beat, hit, and run. Well, that's not as interesting how to beat because we don't know if we're going to face it. I remember watching you propose at BlizzCon 2010. I was in the crowd. Wasn't it BlizzCon 2009? I think it was. Yeah, 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 it was 2009. Oh yeah, that was uh, that was nice. I don't think Blizzard held a BlizzCon for Warcraft in 2010, like a BlizzCon tourney. Simplest build order for Night Elf. Okay. Let's see. New chat. Dear chat GPT, I am a low-skilled Night Elf player, but I still like to win games in Warcraft 3 when I come home from a hard day of work after putting the kids to bed. What is a simple strategy I can perform against any race on any map that has a decent chance of success? Please be detailed in the startup, as I always feel my opponents are rushing me with level 3 hero when I'm still level 1 and I ain't got nothing. Hello! As a low skilled player it's important to focusing on an executing a simple effective strategy that you can use against any race. Here's a basic build order and strategy that you can use to improve your chances of winning games in Warcraft 3. Train four to five wisps and put everything in gold mine. Make an ancient of war and place it near the gold mine. Okay. I mean, I think this is off to a great start. Very good, very good. Ancient of war next to the gold mine. Make a moon well. Uh, wait, are we making an altar? Let's assume we made an altar. Train a moon well and assign some wisps to gather lumber. Make a second Ancient of War and place it near a creep camp that you plan to attack. Train archers and heroes. <laughs> it should be the priestess or the demon hunter. And use your initial archers or heroes to creep. Okay, I think that game doesn't count. That was very simple and effective. We're going to give it a second try to increase the sample size. Okay, so we're making a uh, priestess or demon hunter. Use your initial archers or heroes to creep nearby neutral crowns for experience and try to get level two or three as quickly as possible. All right. Well, the one thing it didn't say, but that I do know from watching at Follow Grubby on YouTube is that an altar of elders is unmissable. So let's make an altar of elders and a moonwell. This part we knew. Didn't quite get the build right, did it? But what we did learn is that we should make the Ancient of War as close as possible near the gold mine, or at least very near. Uh, that kind of makes sense. We want to protect the wisps in the entangled gold mine. So there we go, Ancient of War coming up. And then of course we're gonna fill the gold mine. So we'll do that. Uh, use archers and heroes to creep. Keep training archers. Attack your opponent's base or army once you have a group of three to four archers. I see, I see. We attack. Wow. With four archers, we're going to attack. 
with level 2 or 3. Keep creeping neutrals to increase your army strength. Try to expand to a second gold mine if you can, okay? Demon or priestess, it said. So let's make a uh, demon. Now we're gonna need a second moon well. And then we're gonna make an ancient of war, like they asked, next to a creep camp that we intend to creep. It kind of makes sense in a way. You know, a lot of pro players will build their first Ancient of War right next to a base, uh, right next to the camp they intend to creep. But then they wouldn't be able to easily resist harassment from players. And as that's the only one that they have, well, it could mess up their whole game plan. So let's do it like this then. So we'll do a second archer and we'll do a shop cancel in order to... Uh, be able to get that archer so now we're 21 out of 20. we could have just made ancient of war i guess let's get uh evasion first we'll do something very non-newbie which is lightning shield Okay, second Ancient of War coming. Keep in mind, we're gonna attack when we have three to four archers and we're trying to get fast level two or three. We'll even do a scout, which I totally didn't ask for. Make another wisp. Okay. I kind of like it. I think this is much more appropriate for newbies, for sure. To not have your only ancient be the one that has to produce archers and creep. There's much lower risk. Of course, I am using some advanced tricks to keep my Ancient of War alive, even though it's killable. Which is not going to be easy for people. We kind of need to read the follow-up steps because I feel so lost without ChatGPT's guidance. Keep creeping neutrals. If they attack you early, use archers and hero to defend your base. And they said something about expanding at some point, but that's certainly not now, is it? Uh, we have uh, reached the magical four archer numbers, so we should attack. Uh, if your opponent turtles, try to expand to a second mine and build up a larger army of archers and druids of the claw. This basic strategy should work against any race on any map, so long as you execute effectively. Be flexible. Remember to keep prioritizing leveling up your hero and good luck and have fun. Very nice. Have the enemy. AI is very mannered, which is nice. We'll make a uh, tree of life for the expansion. I, I actually feel like I learned something in teaching newbies. Even though it's a very slow tech, it feels a lot more resilient and safe to have our second ancient to four be on the camp. Even if you were to lose this, it wouldn't be over. But if your only Ancient of War is lost, it would be terrible. Yes, Sentry? Okay, let's start making huntresses. I do recommend not copying the unit composition it asks for, by the way. Huntresses is a lot easier. Uh, once my wife took second place in an all-female tournament, 
and I taught her Demon Hunter Mass Hunter's AP rush, which she got second with. And uh, I feel like that's a lot safer than this archer nonsense. Anyway, it likes Demon and Priestess, so let's go for Demon and Priestess. Yeah, this, uh, I like this alchemist thing he's doing. I'm making a huntresses. It didn't ask for huntresses though, so that kind of sucks. I'm breaking the rules. I think nature's blessing is always a good upgrade to get. From watching my wife's games at uh, medium level of Warcraft, I saw that a lot of people like orcs in particular and humans as well and undeads too yeah basically everyone everyone loves to harass night elves right but then what happens is as they're harassing and they're winning and they're killing something they go into the base and they just run in past all the ancients and that's something she actually did as well she always had two ancient of war at home <laughs> no matter what and they always ran themselves in into the meat grinder I went to go die to the trees. So that was a really effective defense mechanic. We've lost all of our archers, chat GPT in shambles. We're not even going archer bear. Yeah, it's pretty limited, man. Archer bear? Huh. But we have our second base. I wouldn't say he was turtling though. But we do have our second base. So that's nice. And uh, now it's time to go bears. We'll do another attack. We'll go tier 3. And then we'll get our second lore when possible. I do think aggression is always a good thing to do in games. Because you mess up people's normal flow, they're gonna like have a drop in macro. It allows you opportunity if you're aggressive. Whereas if you're passive, you'll never punish calculated risks. Because you're not there to punish it or even to know about it. Got Orb of Venom. Yeah, he's rushing, see? Straight to bears. It's very greedy. So this time we again gain the benefit of the We gain the benefit of the aggressor. If we had waited till he has like four bears, wouldn't be good. No, sir. Because he's probably got the money to make lots of bears. If you manually press Searing Arrow and click it on someone, you gain 100 range on your physical attacks. Yeah, it's good. Just be aggressive, lol. He's making Ancient of Wonders in the middle because he needs clarity and stuff. We have evasion. Let's go. Let's see if we can get the bounce attack to bounce exactly on Alchemist. Yep. <laughs> nice. I've never done that. I don't have lumber for master training.
It looks good for us, yeah. True shot level two, very good with Hunter's Bear. Chat GPT pulls through again. The great strat. Try chat GPT how to counter Grubby. Alright, this is gonna be for next. Soon. It was an error, it's not possible. Obviously. <laughs> Let's try again. It can't be done. Okay, new chat. GG, remember to sub to the grub and let's find out our next challenge as well. How to defeat Grubby in WC3. What? You think it's lagging? Or it's impossible? Well, stay tuned to next. Is Painkiller the default demon name? Uh, in Warcraft 3, there can be multiple demon hunters because there can be multiple elf players. They had 12 max uh, players per game. Now it's 24. So they had 12 different demon hunter names. Painkiller, Terrorblade, and a bunch of others. Try to refresh. Okay, I'm refreshing. How to defeat. Ah, uh, now I think it works. It's gotta think about it, it's not easy. How to defeat Grubby in Warcraft 3? Let's figure it out. You know all those athletes that say to an interview question, who is your greatest opponent at this tournament? And they say, I know it's cliche, but really it's myself. If I can overcome my own challenges, then I don't think anybody can stop me. Yeah, I just don't, don't get into my own head and just play my game and I go out there and I hit the ball and that's it. So. Here are some tips that may increase our chances of beating ourselves. Focus on macro. Good macro is essential to winning in Warcraft 3. Hey, I gotta agree with that. I don't think there'd be anyone representing any RTS out there in the industry that would disagree with this. That macro is quintessential to Warcraft 3. Yeah, get out Age of Empires and Starcraft. Just be good at macro. Scout regularly. Keep an eye on the base. Use a good strategy. This is all super generic. <laughs> it's super generic. Use a good strategy. Okay, hold on. What is Grubby's preferred strategy? I want to play my preferred strategy. I don't know what I prefer, but I need a bot to tell me what I prefer. He's known to be proficient in multiple strategies and playstyles. However, in general, he's often associated with playing the orc race and favoring a fast expansion strategy in his games. Yeah, that's me. Quick, great whole expansion. This strategy involves quickly building a second base. 
and increasing his economy to pr produce a larger army and gain an advantage over their opponent. Kirby also tends to favor using strong hero units. Yes, I do prefer to include heroes in my army, not just units. It makes the whole game feel a lot more rewarding, you know, garnering experience. Like the blade and shadow to harass and disrupt his opponents. Got it. I got it. I know what to do. Yeah, blade and shadow to harass and disrupt his opponent's economy while building up his own army. It's important to keep in mind that Grubby is a versatile player, so he may switch up his strats. Okay, let's go back to the basics, guys, and do what we do best. In all those tournaments we played, a fast expansion strategy, that's the one that we're most well known for. All those humans and elves and undeads, they were unable to stop that great hall. It comes up so quickly. Just 150 seconds window to cancel it. That's two and a half minutes. And I put it up as early as three minutes into the game. So you only have until your second hero comes out and then another minute to stop it. Yeah, however could you? It's not possible. So we do the killer strat of fast expanding with strong hero unit like Blades and Shadow. And then we go disrupt this economy. Note it. Do you think you could beat this Grubby guy? I don't know. Grubby's that Twitch streamer, right? Yeah, I'm a YouTube streamer. I stream at a much higher resolution. That means I am more resolved to win, right? I think it makes sense. And it is my resolution to win this game. So let's do it. Now, this is a pretty tough camp. So I don't know if one grunt is going to be enough to take it down. I'm going to have to make an early launch. Do I though? Early lounge? No, let me think, let me think. Uh, yeah, I do think I need an early lounge. To take an item, heal up a bit. No. Please, Grubby, can you create a chat GPT strategy to start every fight with A-click and control only heroes? <laughs> it's interesting, it's an interesting one. What army is best without any micro at all? I wonder what it's gonna say. I would imagine torrents and bloodlust. Wait, is it listening to what I'm saying right now and using that to generate its response? Yeah, let's not give anything away yet. Don't don't make it easier on it. It's like yeah, torrents and bloodlust. <laughs> no, it's the cutoff period for its information is actually some time ago, uh, November 21. It said I was researching buying a new PC earlier on. And I want to get a new PC and install it before next Diablo weekend. Even though it's Blizzard's fault, it's poorly optimized. And I was researching that. And then I... Then I checked... With ChatGPT. And I asked, what is this... What does this uh, motherboard do? And it's like, there is no motherboard with that name. And I'm like, are you sure? Are you sure there's no motherboard with that name? Because I think there is. He's like, oh, sorry, I only know until November 21. And I checked, sure enough, motherboard came out after that time. Then I asked it another question about it, and it answered. So I said, how do you know these things? You said you only know until November 21. And then it apologized for the confusion, but it still didn't give me an answer. Uh, I think there's something more going on, guys. What are they trying to do to us? There's something fishy going on here. And I'm not about to find out how and why and what. Because I have no time for that. I am looking to play Warcraft 3. Now, how are we going to fast expand? Unless we drive away his Farseer. Alright, now we can fast expand. Yeah, because... We needed to make this guy go away. I'm gonna give him a D minus for pathing. Walking into my base was the easiest way for me to uh, clear his presence. But still, I give myself uh, an A minus for the surround. Not quite as fast as my usual preferred strategy. <laughs> What can you do? <coughs> Yo! Dodge and snare. Easy. Oh, 
Oh, I cancelled it. Classic fast X for Gravy, right? <laughs> Classic. Remember when I always played this build? Such sweet memories. Okay. Let's creep his mercenary camp. And then we go disrupt his economy. Grubby's usual strategy to dodge and snare by building a great hall. <laughs> The ensnare great hole dodge. This stupid troll thought he can ensnare a great hole. Whereas real OGs know that the only thing you can do to a great hole is eat it with a coda. Long time watchers know this. Now you're gonna see economy disruption. I'm gonna disrupt his economy more than 2008. When I'm done with his economy, it will be impossible to get a mortgage. the same one he knew about my fast expo strat so he decided to take away my burrows so that i can't use it smart Smart. Where's my other grunt? There. Oh, oh, ah, micro, ah, uh, micro control. He is mining again. Yeah, I was gonna say, he still has cloak, no? And invo. So if I attack him now, I'm dead. And he has dust too. He's baiting me in to die. Want to see something real scary? I am yours. Ah, the classic expansion, allowing me to bounce back. He doesn't like books. There's no one that likes tomes more than Twitch and YouTube chat. And every time I miss tomes, you're sure to let me know in a, in a comment. Eco disruption. Yes, 
I have to be a versatile player that switches up the build based on the situation. He's making trolls, so I should go Moss Bat Riders. This shows the versatility. After all, trolls hard counter Bat Riders. So you would never expect me to make them. Oh god, I need towers. Let's get troll regen. Yo, dead ass, guys, dead ass. I'm gonna die here. Straight up. He doesn't know about the expo, even though it's my preferred style. This is where he went wrong. If he had asked chat GPT, he would know. Now he knows. His preferred style is tar and lightning ore. I didn't know that. Now I do. And maybe chat GPT knows too now. Come on. One of the coolest things you can do... Uh, I need to kill this sentry ward. One of the coolest things you can do... 
in uh, in Warcraft 3 oops is blow up a blow up a uh, tiny great hall that was just made so how about putting the sapper right here on pause because I think he might he, he just might <laughs> this is good too. Tell me I am yours right away. Someone call for Dr. Man? Yeah, this reminds me a lot of Dota actually. The warding and counter warding. When you realize I've been warding for Aeons as well. Warding has always been my preferred style. We have to pull him away from his base to disrupt his economy with strong heroes like Blades and Shadow. They are strong. <laughs> Does he know? Is he aware? He didn't... I mean, it's not like they're going to necessarily viscerally react. Only one tower. Burn the ray! Oh, this must be so annoying to play against, no? <coughs> I think I think people hate playing against this stuff. So I can truly say I've done a good deed. After this game. I do like the improvement they made that liquid fire allows for slow repair rather than no repair i think that's a big improvement still wasn't enough to save him though but it's a good change gg we did a good deed remember sub to the grub thank you bye see you next
base straight next game my most enjoyable game was when neither of us had the capacity to mine again and it was three level 10 versus three level 10 yeah that sounds great classic strat never fails I never get to watch your stream. This is awesome. Yo, hi. Welcome to the live stream, Andrew Frey. Yes, 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 yes. We should try Frost Chimera. Do you think it's possible to beat any other race than Night Elf with only bots and heroes? Uh, virtually impossible against human. I have done it against undead, but not just bats. Again, impossible against undead. But you can do it with wind riders and bats. I had a... But it's best against ghoul opening, not fiend opening. Wyvern, Tower, Bat Rider, Farseer Shadow. That's what I that's what I did. Alright, let's try Frost Chin. Of course the condition is we have to be against the Night Elf. Saw your final versus Moon back in the days, you're awesome. Thanks, Flammable. My only question is which one? <laughs> which one? We had several. Yeah, I think so. The Hex Peons gave us the crucial econ advantage. Good stuff, Epons. How come you wear a headset again? Uh, I, I was trying to raise my microphone volume to improve my stream. And then it started picking up my speakers. And this is a very comfy headset, so it's fine. Ah, we can't get... We can't get uh, Frost Chimera, but we can get Frost Griffins. Maybe Frost Chimera is too difficult. Let's try. Let's try to do Frost Griffins. And this will be. This is gonna be the first iteration of Frostworm Griffin that I've ever done. I'm assuming some genius in a basement somewhere has done it before. But it's going to be my first. My like for Our opening is going to be unusual. We are not going to get a hero yet. We're just going to get a couple ghouls. We're skipping hero. We're rushing to tier 2 and tier 3 to get banshees, steal a peasant, make an aviary, make griffins and frostworms. And it will be the unholy alliance between undead, frostworms, and human griffins. Never before attempted, never before successful. We'll try it, see how it goes. Friffins, perfect. You're a wordsmith, Lemoy. Friffins. Or, Greerms. Let's go some Greerms. Or, Worm Riders, now oh, there we go. Now we're talking. Let's go Worm Riders. Welcome to Worm Wars. <coughs> I mean, Riders. Worm Wars was fun. We should play it sometime. With viewers, maybe. How is that going to perform against Breakers? I believe it will work as well as a big functioning like an umbrella. Chat comments. We got backpack for a bit. Let's go scout. Uh, map is Rusty Creek. Okay. We need to get our graveyard. Inner fire meat wagon sounds fantastic. <laughs> that sounds even more fun. Inner fire meat wagons. More gold is required. He's probably just doing the mercenary camp, I would imagine. My life for Nezu. Yeah. More gold is required. 
He's not doing the mercenary camp. I did imagine it, but my imagination was running wild. Paladin. Nuja babes. Come on! Please. Cheats. He used counter attack. It was super effective. I just needed one more hit. Let's see. Maybe next camp. The worst thing that happens is we give him Rod of Necromancy. Invisible worms sounds pretty good too, or inner fire worms. Ah, no! I'm sorry, Miss Cousy, Miss Cousy, dude, he's very jealously protecting that which he deems his. No hero? Yeah, we're going double tavern hero. Ah, uh, let's see, what do we get? Tinker. Good tinker and panda. Okay, okay. I'm on top of it. Yes, feed him experience. Very close. I need you to tell me if our rockets reach the enemy. Um, it was close. It was very close. Okay, that's good enough, son. Good work. You have 10 seconds to comply. I think I'm gonna have to take an expansion. But, he, but this strat is super good against Expos. Uh, like medium late Expos, so I can't. Okay, we just have to creep up. Uh, no space in the back. I can handle that. Death! Oh, I made an immediate Nerubian, but it's just an illusion. Drunken haste would actually be pretty sick. But I don't have the mana for it. Do you guys know that Tinker is an intelligence hero? He does kind of sound it, doesn't he? I need to get Pit Lord. If he has an expansion, you know, it's real tough. Why have I 
What else would be tough is potentially if he goes air. Let's get ghoul frenzy. Did he creep this? Yeah, he did. Kind of focus now because it's getting really tough. We killed one Ruby and that's about it. Not nearly enough to be in a good spot. And now comes the hard part defending the base. With a counter attack likely after an attack like that. And he already took the big red spot. There's the counterattack, so luckily we're going for his base again. I do a frenzy. I thought they're so slow, but it's because no unholy aura. Boots of speed stops of telly would be super helpful here. Check that he doesn't already have an expansion, which would be really smart and bad for us. No expo currently. I'm all geared up. What you got? It is running. Good. How many statues have we got? Just the one. Oh, I can't make no shop. I'm all geared up. Yeah, I think I need like so many towers to even be safe. I don't know how many I need, but it's a lot. I should start unsummoning cigarettes here. At least one to get some money back. Ooh, that's a gyrocopter. He just saw my human base. Ready to go. 
Let's go then. And we save one peasant. Because it's not so much about having the town center, the town hall running, as it is about not dying and having an upgraded town hall, which I guess I could have done differently. He's not attacking yet. Okay, now we can make another statue. There's one footman. My life for Nezul. I will. Sap, sentry, okay. No orb yet, so he can fly by me with full impunity. Poor statue, couldn't make it out. He's only mining with two on gold, by the way. Uh, the sentry is there, he sees it with the flying. They all need boots. I'm all geared up. I'm all geared up. There he is again. There's just one footy. Keep him away from here. Well, I think I critted it. Okay, this is ready. He has an unholy aura. No wonder he's so fast and good at regen. Okay, we got three boots. No, we're fast too. Where are my goals? Finally, we're taking. I was afraid to commit because I thought he's going to stop me again. Up. 
Oops. We're gonna need to make some frost worms now. He's level 5-3. Double heal scroll, 2-2 two, two upgrades. My god. Hi. I must obey. Alright. Close. I don't think this one is gonna finish. Am I crazy for thinking that? Let's see if we can still creep the red. Oh, hello. That's the one rifle. He dodged! What a god. Okay, good. Yo, why are my peasants here? Wrong control group. comes down to this one army now. What you got? What you got? Engines running. All systems go. Any banshees? No. Oh, there we go. Here's a base. Oh, 
Ouch. I'm all geared up. Engine's running. Hey, at least we're uh, mining 50-50 again, huh? Engine's running. We need to disease cloud him. Huh, it only disease clouded oh. one. I still have one. I still have some goals. I think I need lots of A bombs to tank. Life stealer now. Nom 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 nom. running. What you got? I'm all geared up. Oh, that's 
Oops. Clarity potions for uh, undead, not bad. Eat until he's full. I forgot that my frost worm was still there. Oops. Mortar versus Acolyte. Classic matchup. He does have three bases. No, I missed my fire. <laughs> oh, don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look. Don't look. Even drank a mana pot for it, so you could tell I was getting excited. His job is just to make everyone sick. So kind of like Tom Green in 2002. Daddy, do you like some sausage? Daddy, would you like some sausage? TZ. We didn't quite get griffins and frostworms, but we were forced to evolve to something else. I still had fun. GG. Nice. Oh, if you enjoyed it, remember, sub to the grub. He can't keep getting away with us. It <laughs> I thought at first he typed it was an horror horror. That was a really cool game. Summoning. I have not seen a mountain giant in ages, nor Torren. Could you play a game with either? Mountain giant? Yeah, we could do that. Research complete. What's with the recent fire breath misses? Dude, I was wondering if anyone watching now had seen the previous one. Because I've had exactly two fire breath misses in the last month. And to have someone come in and hold me accountable for both of them? I feel like that's special. I feel, I feel like that's cool. When will you stream Dota? Uh, tomorrow on Twitch. Is Alchemist first good? No, it isn't. Which is why we're going to do it. No Dota today? Yeah, not today. Someone said, I haven't seen mountain giants in ages, and it would lighten my heart greatly should you make some of them. Accumulate the necessary resources to produce a mountain giant. And so, the do the bites. And someone else said, is alchemist first any good? No, I say unto thee. 
which is why we're going to make it. Alchemist and Mountain Giant actually have a really, really good synergy, despite uh, not really being a meta strat. Let me explain some of the synergies. Alchemist can shoot up into the air. Mountain Giant cannot. So they fill each other's weaknesses. It's always nice if you can fill each other. And then, Mountain Giants, they cost a lot of Moonwell Juice to heal up. But Alchemists can use Healing Spray to do the job much easier. So if you have many Mountain Giants that you saved with Staff of Preservation, then you can heal them up with Healing Spray and just use your Alchemist to heal up from the Moonwells. So, Solo Alchemist, MG Rush. Keep also in mind that Alchemist and no, that Mountain Giants have been rebalanced a bit in the recent patch. Yes, there has been a recent patch of Warcraft 3, which makes it a more recently updated game than Heroes of the Storm. Whatever Blizzard is planning with it, well, I don't know. There was some talk about a soft relaunch, but for now we just have this small little balance patches. Multiple, in fact. We truly are blessed. Blessed by the storm. The Blizzard. So anyway, uh, yeah. Mountain Giants now have more armor at tier 2 and less benefit from hardened skin. Something I have been counseling uh, a very long time, in fact. So if you like it, if you don't like it, I would say at least I had a hand in it. The goal is to create separation from the unkillable tier 3 Mountain Giants with resistant skin and hardened skin. They were a little bit too tanky. The tier 2 Mountain Giants are way too weak. Ready to so hopefully now, tier 2 Mountain Giants with the two extra armor that they have, they're going to be a little bit better than they were. Our sacred grove is being desecrated. Stocked and ready to go. You got it. Want to blow something up? I'll get that mixed up. I'll shake that right up. Careful, I got I think uh, Chemical Rage is better as a first skill, probably. I think we'll make a couple of Huntresses to bridge the gap. Uh, we should also keep him... Oh, we should also keep looking at different... Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, it's getting exciting now. It's very exciting. Guys, we're getting tower rushed. It is an honor. I'll shake that right up. Very exciting. get that mixed up. Don't rush me. You got it. I don't know how we're gonna hold this. Especially with as little lumber as I have. Buff and weave, you fool! Buff and weave, you fool! I don't have... Oh, <laughs> no, you didn't! Oh, hell no! But... Who's stuck with who? Okay, I'm stuck with him. No, I just wanted to check. stuck with who though well played is one of the most sarcastic responses you can have at the end of the game if you say well played or gg well played it's the ultimate burn only the saltiest people that have tried to not seem salty say that no it's not true i just made that up gg 
for the highest bidder. He saw some bullshit and he cut right through it. Very good. All right, that's the Alchemist Mountain Giant Rush. Hope you enjoyed it. Lapis Concocter, don't rush me. <laughs> he said, don't rush me. Ah, uh, thank you, Ivan Brovko. Who's the weakest hero in Tavern? Naga. Uh, the weakest... Sometimes the weakest is Naga. Sometimes the weakest is Alchemist. Sometimes Fire Lord. It depends on the situation. They all have some kind of purpose. Dave M. Thank you for becoming a supporter, man. This guy has 23-0 on W3 Champions. Oh, okay. All right. I see. Guys, toilet break. I never show my toilet breaks on YouTube, but now, now you're gonna get it. Kirby, I haven't played Warcraft in over a decade, but I still watch your content. Love what you do, buddy. Thank you, dude. Any chance you could play a minimal micro strat? Oh, yes. Yes. That's right. Let's do it. What would be the best strategy in Warcraft 3 for a hundred population uh, army that doesn't require any micro? We would just be attack moving. This is for those of you low micro monkeys in chat. Okay, hold on, let's try again. Stop. If I have no good micro management skills, what race should I play in Warcraft 3? If I have no good micro management skills, what race should I play in Warcraft 3? I feel like this is going to answer a question that we've all been wondering for a long time we're asking it to make a decision which 
of the four factions have the players that are least skilled, that are most attack movie. In StarCraft, but people sometimes say it's Protoss. Nonsense, I say. Protoss is the micro race. It's Zerg that's the A move race. And I think it'll agree with me on that. But let's see what Warcraft says. Let's see what ChatGPT says about Warcraft. I bet it's Night Elf. I bet it's Elf. Oh. Yeah. There we go. Happy overrated. I see. Yeah, ghouls are easy to use. Okay. Wow. That would be my last guess. The undead also have strong hero units like the Death Knight and the Lich, which can do a lot of damage and are easy to control. Kind of true. <laughs> I called it. However, it's important to note each race has its own unique strengths and weaknesses. If you had four, let's be clear. If you had four equally skilled players of medium level, which player would win? The undead, the orc, the night elf, or the orc, uh, or the uh, human? I bet it's a uh, night elf. Yeah, yeah, undeads are strong in the early game due to the ability to generate units, while humans have strong defensive capabilities. Come on, just decide which one is the most imbalanced. Which race is the most imbi in Warcraft 3? Come on! And we tried to finesse it, it didn't work. It depends! I cannot provide. I could not possibly commit. All right. Okay. If I have 100 population, 12 of which are peons, 15 of which are comprised of three heroes, how much available population could go into army units? 73. This is correct. Keep in mind that the population limit can be increased by building additional unit producing structures. So you could get an army beyond the initial 73 population if needed, provided you build a barracks or a crypt. Well, that makes sense. Uh, they meant possession or, or charm, of course, or uh, resurrection with Paladin. But anyway, okay. Uh, what is the most... Mm, using 73 population army size, what's the ultimate orcish army that performs well with a single attack move? There is no one size fits all, as it depends. However, I could give you a strong strat. Blade Master and Shadow. Grunts, Raiders and Shamans. And then Tarrants and Spirit Walkers. Keep in mind it's just one possible comp. Wouldn't Bloodlust and Torrents, Wind Riders. Doctors, bats, kodos, and shama uh, and uh, shamans and doctors be better. That's the FFA army almost. I, I always made. Yes, you are right. That it can also be strong. Hmm. Right. Kodos can serve as your tanky frontline units. Well, I mean, really? Hey, he cut out. He cut out the second doctors. Stop using AI. It's cheating. I'm trying to learn here, man. Ask it purely mathematically speaking. Wait, 
mathematically mathematically speaking which warcraft 3 unit has the highest dps per cast which three warcraft 3 units yeah glaive thrower has a basic attack of 37 to 49 is that is that true I wonder where it draws this from. This is actually cool. Imagine if it got it right. Fifty-four to sixty-two. Ah, where did you find? that damage number for glaive thrower does it does it answer such things <laughs> oh, 31 to 41 what that doesn't seem right these are the three highest damage dealing the Dryad, the Walker, and the Glaive. Are you see Wow. I'm gonna say it right here. I don't think it's quite there yet with its Warcraft knowledge, guys. You can correct him so you can learn from it. Ah. It's not paying for coaching. We'll do it live. We'll do it ourselves. I heard there's a new chat GPT though. Chat like GPT-4 or something. Maybe it's better. What are you eating? Human meat jerky. I mean, human grade meat jerky. Because I have one for the dog too. I'm gonna do an easy micro strategy this time. We will not micro in the final battle. How do I transfer my sub streak to the stream? Well, you don't need to, you don't, Cuspers. I still stream on Twitch six days a week. At least six days this week, if we do this again next week. Have you tried a banana sandwich with peanut butter? I haven't, but I'll try it this week. How about? In fact, no, I'll try it now. I'll be right back. Banana sandwich with peanut butter. Hold on.
Oh, that's nice. Doing a cooking stream on YouTube. Let me set up the webcam. It was a joke. I didn't want to give a good recipe. Well, maybe you did without knowing it. Should have thought of that earlier. What's your second favorite race after orc? Uh, human, I th I'd say. Welcome to Grubbing Out with Grub. Official cooking stream. The first one on YouTube. This is a great recipe from a longtime viewer. I, I trust him with my heart. He said, the best thing ever is peanut butter banana sandwich. It seems like a strange combo, but my therapist said I should try to be less judgmental. So, without reservations or judgment, shall I try this, uh, this recipe? And if it isn't good, I will lose my faith in humanity and cancel my next therapist meeting. This peanut butter seems a little past its uh, best buy date, I gotta say. I don't remember the last time I ate peanut butter. So, I will give a small out to the viewer in case only fresh peanut butter is requested. Yeah, I have no idea why it's so chunky and hard. I think it must have been years since I opened this jar. Yeah, I, I simply don't eat a lot of peanut butter anymore, which is why I was so excited when I got this wonderful recipe from a viewer. Finally, bust out the old peanut butter jar again. Well, this better be good. I'm used to choco banana ice cream and stuff, but peanut butter, I'm not sure about that. Hopefully nobody's eating, lest they instantly lose their appetite. And I hope for all the husbands and the boyfriends that their partners are not watching. You know me, but not everyone will understand this. Yeah, I think it might have been better with Nutella, but the guy said peanut butter and I trust him. I will let you know what it's like. The peanut butter ratio is off. Banana peanut butter ratio. <laughs> Please be good. Hmm. It's a little dry. Maybe I should sprinkle the other side with the oil that was trapped in the jar. I've already dirtied my knife with banana. So I can't put the knife back in. But I can put some oil on. Mm. 
The oil's probably to keep the peanut butter fresh, but now it's gonna keep me fresh. Use your finger? Hell no. <laughs> Bruh. Dude, I got this, guys. Don't worry about it. Cause it ain't no, ain't no big deal. Okay, it should be a lot less dry now. It's less dry. My brother in Christ, you need to stir the peanut butter. Do you think these chicken arms can stir that peanut butter? I had enough trouble just getting some out already. Not bad. I like it. Thank you. I'm going to make some for my wife tomorrow for breakfast. I'll let you know how, what she thinks. Guys, this should be expected from Grubby. He's after all Dota 2 player now. A few months ago, this wouldn't have happened. <laughs> She's a lucky lady. She really is. You know, as a birthday gift this year, I cleaned my own toilet. I'm joking. Such a gentleman. What's the strat for next match? I'm gonna play a no micro build. Why not use fastest mouse pad, one that makes mouse slide? Mm. You have more control when it's rougher like this. I'm gonna have one as well, Grubby, with way more peanut butter. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy, Wayman. I'm gonna need to get my Twitch mods on YouTube, but I forgot how. You don't need to add honey to anything with banana. Banana are sweet already. Oh, it's it's Wyatt W, not Wayman. I thought Wayman was gonna have one. As a guy who remembers Warcraft 3 mechanics after 30 years, you're bad at remembering small tech details. Yep. I had 100% organic peanut butter without any added sugar today. It's so yummy. Mmm, nice. Are you using top chat or live chat? There's a option to change it. Uh, it says top chat here. Oh, some messages such as potential potential spam may not be visible. Okay, I'll go to live chat. 
Was there anyone whose chat was not visible? Is Night Elf the best counter to human? No, it's it's Orc. Orc or Undead. Oh yeah, Orange. Oh, from WC Replays, Michael. For everyone that's visible suddenly, keep in mind, YouTube thought you're a potential spammer. We're on to you. The thing is, I think we're all potential spammers. Even if you've never spammed in your life, I think many people watching now are potentially a spammer. It just depends on the conditions. Welcome to YouTube. Have a great day to you, sir. Hi, chat orc. Okay. No micro build coming up. What do you think about Lin beating happy today? What? He did? That's sick. Hola papi, eres el mejor del mundo. Gracias. <clears throat> yeah, sure, let's do it, Candy Bombers. I just hope I don't forget the password. <laughs> He beat 3-0 and then lost 4-1. Oh, how could you lose 4-1 if you're up 3-0? Oh, they played again. Man. Quantes idiomas hablas? Yo hablas holandé? All right, guys. If you are a no micro son of a gun, you want to watch and pay attention to this game. We're going to show you a no micro strategy. There are several no micro strats. And they're in hot demand today in particular. But I'm going to show you one of the easiest and most commonly seen ones. When I play as Night Elf, I always meet this orc strategy. I'll keep my APM relatively low so as to not... Uh, disturb you too much we'll do several basic good practices such as an early scout to see what they're doing we creep a bit and then it's go time one uh, example of like an early strategy uh, one example of a strategy that doesn't need a lot of micro is for example uh, torrents and bloodlust huh? It's very devastating against that which it can counter and because the auto cast is there you know everything plays it out by itself and it does a lot of damage and it's pretty tanky so that's why it's like a good strategy if you were to send unmicroed banshees against torrents obviously the torrents would win easily but if you press possess then banshees win so you know a lot of things change when you micro things more same with like frost armored fiends they can do like not bad against torrents if they're not bloodlusted okay we'll go fire seer and grunts we'll start creeping a bit uh, i believe cross map is enforced these days so we immediately scout cross map uh twisted meadows is kind of a challenging map against night elf in general because there's just a lot of different places they could be at and it looks like he is playing tavern hero 
going early archer might be playing beastmaster or dark ranger or something considering he's opening tavern hero i think harass will be good you never want to open with uh without harass against tavern hero it is in fact beastmaster one archer uh one wolf on an archer Tech. basically if you play melee against range you want to put one unit on everything so it can't stand still and shoot i think it's gonna boulder that no or does it not Oh, he's getting the priest. That's why. Well, I'm not going to let him creep. That's for sure. Uh, Beastmaster, the way you should see it, right? There's like a normal way to play. Some people don't know the normal way to play, right? Because you're super new. But some people know normal, but they don't know how to adapt to new things. So you should always just reduce it to like the simplest unique thing. Take what you know is normal and then talk about the simplest unique deviation. In this case, Beastmaster. And what does Beastmaster do? Well, he summons things. What are summons? They're extra free units. So he has bigger army. So he wants to creep more. So you don't let him creep. Maybe you make a uh, war mail soon. Not immediately. First, you get your second hero. But why do you want to stop someone that has more units than you from creeping rather than creeping yourself? Well, that's because they do it faster. They have more units. Also, someone that has more units, has more units than you, uh, can uh, beat you in a fight. So you should also think that you are mostly just doing harass based skirmishes and not actually fully engaging in a fight shadow hunter war mail brute strength And uh, we get the priest. And you just keep making grants. He's sending beasts to uh, hire a hero. Then you bring the four peons over to tower. To make sure to do a pit stop. With your shadow. Buy items. Oh, he just wants to try and get my fires here. And he gets snakes. Even if somehow Farseer was forced to TP, it'd be fine. Just 
Because you just tower. You get fortified defenses. And then you tower. It's so effective. You can do this against elf all the time. And although I did accidentally micro, it totally works with that. And it's not like a precise timed rush. Either you just creep to level 2 and then you harass Wisp and Archer and whatnot and keep fighting. Or you go immediately like I did. You do have to scout with an early peon. And then uh, once you get to this point, 5 grunts, you can start like making a catapult. Demolisher. Your defenses are coming up. You don't need reinforced defenses to be finished before your first tower. In fact, it's better when it's not finished yet. You know why? These don't look fortified, so they look like a small threat. They look fortified, even though they're not, while they're building. But it's like, it's a sign to your opponent that they're fortified, which allows him to make higher quality decisions. He may not feel like he needs to cancel them when they have no fortification. He's like, ah, it's one tower. It's two, it's two towers. We'll deal with it later. Very easy to kill with archers. So try to sync up. You just make reinforced defenses when you leave your base with peons and it'll finish just about perfectly. And that's the strat. Barely need any micro, GG. There was no micro at all. Like I said, a little bit too much by accident, but... Grubby with almost 200 APM, me with almost 70. <laughs> I legit don't understand how you can have 70 APM or less. Every time I try to stay under 100, it sneaks to 120 minimum, and I'm only doing necessary things. <laughs> oh, well, GG, it's up to the grub. Lol, I have 40 APM. How? How? They may not look fortified now, but it's only a matter of time until they turn into the unkillable rock and law. My max is like 80. You were 180. <laughs> we just don't do all the necessary things. Yeah, I think so. You're a pro gamer though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Repeating the question above, what would be the best counter to what you just did as Night Elf? Aha. For that, I would need a subject, wouldn't I? Can anyone perform that strat against me? And I'll show it. Zephyrin, come to channel on Europe server, if that matters, channel Grubby. Right here. Oh, Blizzard. Wow. To make? Oh my God. Come on, Blizzard. In order to find private lobbies, you have to close the two standard lobbies that you're always in and when you minimize they're maxed again oh all right let's just lock it so it never disappears no i don't know what about like this oh, oh well I've never played Age of Mythology, no. It's it's crazy, right, Vinny? Do I invite him to team? And then do I make a custom game? Back Unavailable while in a team, okay. Kick from team. Custom game. Create. 
We'll do a better map for it, Echo Isles. Mm. Zephren. Game name Zephren. I'm not streaming on Twitch because it's not able to be done simultaneously, Nikita Fernate, by my Twitch contract. But I am able to stream unsimultaneously. And I thought that would be fun. I think you can invite him. Okay, let me see. Uh, nope. <laughs> or, yeah, not that I know of. Can I check his profile? Yes, I can. Okay, good. Good. He's gonna perform the strat. Let's just start. We throw him into the fire. Zephren agreed to perform the strategy that we just showed. Where you go Farseer, Grunts. And you make a bunch of Grunts. And you go for second hero, Shadow, and then you tower them. Okay. Well, there's two openings that Night Elf can do that, that counter it. Normally, Night Elf just makes Altar Hero, not Beast. So, what you just saw was a little unusual, but in theory, Beast Master should be even better if you have a good start. So, you start with the Ancient of War Creeping, as usual. Now, you gotta make a decision if it's going to be Demon Hunter or Keeper of the Grove. Usually, I play Keeper of the Grove against Orc. And I think it's better. But you can play Demon. But I think Demon can be a little tougher against that build. But it, it depends. I have played Northgard, yes. And I've got some videos on my YouTube where I do play Northgard, Jans. Can you go Rexar mimic the guy? No, 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 no Rexar. I'll go Keeper of the Grove. Uh... If you go Tyrant Hero, you need to make a different build order where you delay your altar and you get some earlier archers. So the moment you see me put down altar, Tyrant Hero is already off the table. Okay, let's scout him. More love building. Archer. Get our Moonwell out. What graphics? It shouldn't be better, TZ. I lost my wisp without getting scouting info. We just, um, we have to send out a few more wisps because we didn't get any info. Uh, we just creep, try to get a high level keeper. He is here to harass. Okay, we tech up. So what you try to do is you put both wolves low. Uh, try not to try to not to take any damage on archers against grunts and uh, make enough moonwells. Every set of wolves can, in theory, be uh, dispelled with wisps, but you don't want to go overboard. And that would be where you have to scout the orc base to get some information. So you, de you defend. 
Thank you for joining. Uh, the more you get harassed, the more moon wells you should make. Even if you don't know what units you want to make yet. Didn't see much yet. Generally, the war mail is the giveaway. What's gonna happen? We still see just two burrows, no war mail. So at this time, Druids of the Talon feels pretty good. Archer Talon is a very classical strategy. We just keep creeping. And we should get a second hero from the tavern. Uh, usually second hero Beastmaster. If you've made as many archers as you want for now, you can uproot and put it in a more defending position. Engine of Wind, Beastmaster, you scout with the first pig, all the major locations. And then it's always nice if you clear the mercenary camp, so you can hire extra units when you're in a pinch. Improved bows is also good. Okay, Piggy scouted his expansion. It's not there. Now we can do a very strong attack. This is very much like how Sonic plays. Where you have loads of... Uh, Units attack and then go make talents behind it. Go tier three, and then you would attack all of this. Now, this is, of course, this is straight up just enough units to stop attacks like that and while this guy is has graciously accepted to play against us with this build he's not as comfortable uh, at it obviously as uh, the way i did it but it would look something like this recognizing what it's gonna be and then making more units basically now you may wonder how would my elf do against my orc I think my elf would beat my orc if I did that build. You may ask, how do I know they're gonna tower rush me? Ah, oh, thanks a lot, Moby One. <laughs> Appreciate it. Uh, how, how would you know er, that they're gonna tower rush you? We do, of course, see grunts, but we don't know if he's gonna bring peons to me and tower me. And to that I say, Farseer grunts doesn't do anything good against Night Elf. There's no strategy where Farseer Grunts is quite optimal. So even if you're wrong and you make lots of units and he doesn't tower you, those units aren't wasted. He still has a bad build and you can still apply pressure. It seems when he said, I can play that build against you, he totally didn't know what was, what was intended for the, this idea, for the strategy idea. He's going tier three. <laughs> He heard, does someone know how to boot a game of Warcraft 3 and start playing? But he misheard. Next, the subscription is said become a man me member. Figured I might as well. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. So. That's um, 
somewhat my build. Not not quite. The tier three is. Thanks, man. He's actually human. Yeah, I must consider this an act of uh, seasoning. No. It's not, yeah, it's not really a high pressure test example, but it would look something like that. Uh, would you always pick bear two over quail? Yeah, I think quail is the base unit. Mm, it's the most spammable fighting unit. Bear is very expensive. So it feels like a big waste to me to get level one bear and then level two quail. The bear doesn't do as much. I guess it's still a tank. It also feels weird to go pig one and then hawk two. While hawk two has great utility, being a flying magic damage dealing unit, which is pretty rare that early on. It's kind of a, the cheesy choice to go level two hawk over level two pig. Level two pig is just like, it's the best. It's a range unit, it's spammable. You can have three, they, they frenzy themselves, which is like bloodlust. Yeah. So yeah, that's that. Can you defend Night Elf versus three human tower beginning? If yes, how? Yes, I can. It's very simple. I'll show it to you. I'll show it to you and it doesn't need an opponent. You can do the triple peasant tower rush, Gorty. Who can do the triple peasant tower rush? It'll be better with an opponent, I guess. Oh, Krolu, hey. Krolu, come to Channel Grubby on Europe. Krolu is a semi-pro from Warcraft and Starcraft. He'll be able to, uh, to do it. To do any build I need. No worries, Sephirin. Thanks for playing. Do you need War 3 Reforged to play online? Yes. Krolu, you coming? I'm Etnering. Let's see, Etnering. Am I? Oh, I'm in a local game. Oops. Not super clear, but okay. Game name Etnering. I don't see him, but yeah, you can just join. Okay, good. Good. Oh, he's entering. It's a typo. <laughs> okay. I thought that must be some kind of Polish nickname. <laughs> Etnering. I was like, okay. It reminds me of those Ether caps from Baldur's Gate too, you know? You know? I'm like, Etnering. Yeah, Baldur's Gate, Ether caps, Polish. Kind of. Okay, okay. He's entering. And his name is still Krolo, Krolo. Okay, I get it. I get it. <laughs> Feels like I'm pranking him. Like, no. I, I just took it at face value. Okay, cool. Uh, three peasant tower rush, please. Yeah? Okay. Hey guys, I'm here with my friend Krolu in a exhibition match. And I want to show you guys 
how as a night elf player you can counter one of the most annoying and early cheese rush strategies that you can face. This strategy involves the human player immediately putting one peasant to gold, one making a lumber mill, and sending every other peasant into militia form to the night elf base. And then they build towers behind your gold mine or next to your gold mine and they start removing your ability to gather resources. If you're new to an RTS, new to Warcraft 3, this can be very, very frustrating to go up against and difficult. And if you don't know the counter, well, you could just lose in a couple of minutes. Cheese tactics are more common at the lower levels. They're not super effective in Warcraft against high level players, but every now and then it may catch someone off guard. And even some of the best players have lost to it, notably with TH playing it against Moon. TH being one of the best Chinese players ever, and Moon being maybe the GOAT of all time. So this is the strat. They start building peasants. Uh, they start building guard towers at the back. So one of my suggestions would be to quite early on build, uh, stop putting everything in gold, get some extra wood, and try to get an Ancient of Wonders out. Also, your first hero should be Keeper. And if you're already building something else, then you should cancel it and make the Keeper. The bonus units you get from the Treants are very, very helpful. So there we go. We make an Ancient of Wonders. We continue to gather. We're going to make our Keeper. And our first goal should be to take the Peasants down, rather than what you might think is to immediately start cancelling the Towers. After all, the Peasants represent additional production of, um, of Towers. So we're making Arches here. We're making Wisps. And when a keeper comes out, we're going to summon Treants. That first guard tower is going to finish pretty, pretty soon. Archers do the best damage on towers, so we can start working on the tower first. And not immediately on, uh, on peasants. That's going to happen when the keeper comes out. Well, we're going to make trees and kill the peasants. Kill all the peasants we can, while the archer is going to attack the unfinished tower. I'm going to try to take down the bottom tower. Uh, more moon wells. And he's supposed to send in more peasants in order to continually reinforce but you can kind of see where this is going potentially uh, they can also follow this up with a hero unit afterwards but you can see how it wasn't difficult at all at least for now to stop this build and that's about it this should be the end of the uh, rush now Krolo is an orc main player but he's a semi-professional in warcraft and starcraft and uh, definitely has better micro than most and better understanding of the game. So that's the end of that build. That should be it. GG. But that's, that's what you can do. The Ancient of Wonders is just an extra unit. He can try to focus it down with the towers, but then that's distraction that doesn't go to your archers. I want to show another cool build. Uh, another cool counter cheese and counter strategy. I'll be hosting here another game. There is also the tower rush against Orc. Again, game named Krolu. I want to show you how to stop it with Orc. And it's, it was even worse on Turtle Rock. With Orc, you may be going either Farseer first. Uh, game name Crowley. You may be going Farseer first or Blade Master first. And then you may be opening with Headhunters or Grunts. Uh, same, please. I want to show as Orc. I'm going to wait for him to pick Human. Yeah, I remember playing this uh, cheese tactic at low levels. Uh, trying to get easy wins out of people is quite a laugh. So, if as an orc player, you go Altar, Burrow, Barracks, 
and you go Blade Master Grunt, it can actually be pretty tough to stop a Tower Rush like that. And it's not just the human Tower Rush that can be tough, but it's also the Orcish variant of it. Sometimes Orc players can make Farseer and Grunt, and they can go Warmill, and then they come in and they start making Burrows in your base. Or maybe they don't make Grunt, just Farseer, and they start making Burrows. And it looks kind of lame at first, but then they bring in more peons and they start towering you and it sucks. So what do you do when peasants come out this early? Note how I have nothing to defend myself with yet. Waiting for a grunt takes a while. And if my standard build is grunt and blade, that's gonna take a long time. And because they're both melee, I can't get to him. So what you do is you cancel the barracks, you recoup costs. And you just cancel the racks because grunts are not going to play a part in stopping this build. And instead, you just make a burrow. And if you've got... And then you go farts here instead of blade. And if you've got burrows nearby, you can shoot. If it doesn't work, then it's fine. And when you get enough lumber again, you make another burrow. Just in case. Just in case he amasses the necessary firepower to take down your first burrow. Uh, so we do just that. Then we make another one. And as you can see, because of the need for him to make scout tower first and then transform it to a guard tower, that production time is just longer. I even waited a while, didn't I? Before I made a burrow and canceled my racks. And then you do this, you fill it up and you just start shooting towers. And that one is hard to repair. And we go for the next one. Try to take this tower down. Now that one is down. And then you come in with the farce here. And you start killing peasants. And that should be the end of that. And now you can make a barracks again. You can go to tier 2. You can use burrow to shoot down the peasants. And it's really that simple. And I think this shows the quintessence of stopping a cheesy rush. That has a formulaic answer. But you need to know it. Because your first instinct when you get rushed isn't to cancel the very building that can allow you to produce units. It would be maybe to make a second barracks. But I remember many times that I lost to this tower rush because I was so beholden to the initial barracks I made. The fallacy of sunk costs. I was beholden to the blade master that was the standard opening, which is melee and can't take down units as much. He can get body blocked, doesn't have the ranged attack. When all you gotta do is cancel the barracks and make the burrow. Now, you're going to play other RTS in the future, maybe. Tempest Rising, Stormgate, what have you. And in all of those, you're going to be coming across situations like this, where you wonder, is it okay to diverge from the formula? And in order to understand that, what sacrifice is okay for you to make, you need to understand the gravity of the sacrifice of your opponent. And in order to understand that, you need to know timings. So when my altar was 60% of the way done, militia arrived. Now I know normally from experience that when my altar is finished and I send a worker, an altar and a hero take about the same production time. So if my altar is finished, that was about a minute. And when my hero is finished, that's a minute as well. So I know from experience that when my altar is finished and I take that worker and I send it to them, I arrive and their hero finishes roughly. So that's a 100% time frame to walk towards them. And he came here in a 60% time frame. That's because militia are faster than peons. But it also means, and this is what I was getting at, that he sent his militia instantly. In the heat of moments, you may sometimes wonder, are these immediately three peasants? Or did he send his sixth, seventh and eighth peasant? If that makes sense. This is why timings helps, experience helps. We know that these are the first three peasants. And that means he started gathering resources, if anything, with just two. That means he lost an insane amount of resources. So the sacrifice that we're making by cancelling barracks is relatively small compared to the sacrifice he made. That's how you know if it's a worthwhile sacrifice. He already spent more on this. So we're allowed to quote-unquote overreact we could even cancel 
uh, altar and barracks if we wanted to make two burrows and still come out ahead even though that's crazy but we could do that because it would still be a smaller sacrifice than what he did so i hope with that you can form a pattern of thinking that will help you in future rts in warcraft or uh, in other games uh, gg thanks for watching uh sub to the grub Dude, this is so helpful. I'm glad. <laughs> uh, can you go rush? I want to see a pro do it. Okay. All right. I'll show you what it looks like. Please do a burrow or tower rush. I want to see how a pro does it. Okay, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Really good tip, Scrubby. I've lost to plenty of TRG strats trying to play what I played. What I think is meta without deviating. Right. Very understandable. The more clueless you are about uh, responses, the more you adhere to dogma. I was the same when I learned a new game. When I played Dota 2, even now, even after uh, 1500 hours in Dota 2, I still follow the item guide sometimes. Just to shrink my thinking focus to other things that concern me. Man, it's cool to see you do these videos on the fly. I had always been wondering if you were preparing scripts before or whatnot. <laughs> uh. Yo, thank you very much, Mike Braski. Thank you. Thanks for joining. I used to be so pissed when people rushed me like that. Yeah. And now we're going to do it. I lost the one yesterday. Yeah. Uh, what's the OST that plays on the sub? It's... uh. It's uh, under the sea. We'll do a human tower rush. Uh, th Krolu, if you're there, thank you for testing these games with me. I appreciate it. Krolu. Wait, why am I playing 2v2? <laughs> no. Why? Um, okay, well... I was going to show how to do a rush tactic in one-on-one. -on -one. I don't remember clicking two-on-two, -two, but I must have. And it makes sense now because I had zero-zero stats. Yeah, we were just teaching chat how to deal with early tower rushes. And I really hope, I really, really hope that the orc is next to me. The orc enemy, not the human. So let's check it out. Please, please let it be the orc. Otherwise, I'll just go top, I guess. Yes! Okay, good. All right, so this is good. Now let's see how he deals with this. <laughs> My ally sent me lumber. Let's see how he deals with this. Does he know? Is he aware how to stop this? Does he have the necessary response? There's the burrow. All right, now we're going to take it to level number two. We're going to build outside of the range of that first burrow. And we'll see how that goes. Uh-huh. He put something in the burrow. Doesn't help, does it? Let's send another peasant. We can be a little bit more greedy because our ally sent us resources. <laughs> kind of cheating the resource system. Oh, this is in range. This is in range too, I didn't know that. That's not good. Okay. Shadow Hunter. Is he gonna be snakes? Let's send more peasants. No! <laughs> the militia! Okay, uh, abort. <laughs> Quick! We need towers here. 
Jesus, why did it have to be two on two? Um, I feel they may attack me. I don't know why, but I just got this feeling. Oh, he went home. <laughs> no problem just around okay well <laughs> this game is turning out to be something quite different than what I initially expected Oh, there's the Archmage again. Okay, I don't have any way to heal, so it's better just to die. The damage is already done. I had Lightning Shield Fire Lord. No, he's gonna split! Let him split! Let's go, Branuk. Ready for action. I'm gonna show him my allies' expansion so that he is aware of it and that this becomes an actual 2v2 so they can harass my allies' expansion. Oh, hi, Must. Dota level lasted, Cap. They spawn after 15 attacks on non buildings. It's gonna be quite a different rush now. Incinerate? We'll do another one in one on one after this.
Denied. Oh, my ally is here. With with bone chimes. Footies with bone chimes. Let's go. Nice around. Oh my god, these surrounds are sick. He's taking 40 damage per hit. Shadow Fiend is insane. Banshees. Shadow race. No offensive GGing, guys. Only tower rush, which is moral and ethical. If the fan gets a creep last hit, is it a deny? No, it's XP. XP for me, I'm the source. What's he getting? Frostworm, hell yeah, brother. The other guy, he can still do it. He's still in the game. Wouldn't it be better to build outside of fog? No, no, it's fun when they see you taking over their backs. In my opinion, I still remember the first time I saw someone take over a base. It was 2003 and it was before I started competing ever, ever in any game. I was watching a replay from some CPL tournament in USA between the Bulgarian player SK Insomnia and the French player, AT Intox. And it was Norwood. And I still remember the human player, 
I don't remember where Insomnia spawned, but I remember Intox spawned top left of Norwood. It's a six spawn map. So he started in the top left. And, and the human tower rushed him with a whole bunch of towers, which I thought was hilarious and funny. And I wasn't sure if it's like meta or off meta, but he tower rushed the Night of Player, destroyed his base. Intox migrated to the eight o'clock position. So to the base underneath it, bottom left and restarted his base. And then Insomnia made a second town hall at the ruined base of Intox, the very base he just took. And I thought, man, that's a giga chat power move, except I didn't have those terms. Whatever the slang of the time was, or maybe I had no terms because I was watching it alone. But I thought that was a real cheeky move. And I thought it was an insult to injury kind of move and not actually valid but why not you already have all the towers there you might as well make a second base with the peasants that are there and i think building the town hall in vision is free info for the opponent and generally free info is a bad thing i agree but it is very uh, yeah it can be it can be like it's not bm but it can be like yeah it's a bit it can be embarrassing like my base now but it's also funny that's it that's the story Sub to the grub. See you next time. When Gosu was being used, yeah. You're here on YouTube? Did you leave Twitch? No, I didn't leave Twitch. I just want to stream on YouTube sometimes. Different experience. Okay. Now let's do it in one-on-one, -on -one, yeah? Let's do it in one-on-one. -on -one. Hey Grubby, last I played Warcraft 3 was 10-15 years ago when I was younger and hotter. <laughs> Smiley face. Too bad I didn't know you then, Alexander Popa, when you were hotter. Uh, watching you made me want to start playing again. You recommend going with Warcraft 3 TFT or just jump into Reforged? Uh, thanks to Blizzard, you no longer have a choice. They deprecated, aka removed, they uninstalled, the original TFT, so only Reforged exists. However, you can toggle back your graphics to the ones that I'm using after you get Reforged and play online. But you can no longer use the old one to play online. And all the illegal copies that people used to play with, not possible anymore either, online anyway. My friend says he can beat you as Night Elf with the three peasant rush. Okay. Is he ready now, Vladimir? Bring it. I'll make a game and you tell me his name. Let's make it extra scary and go to Amazonia, where it should be even better due to the short rush distance. We're raising the stakes. Where are you, Amazonia? Right here. Game name is your game name is Zoni three two eight. Your your friend's name. Diablo content coming soon. Yo, have you seen my review of Diablo yet? Wanna flower? Let me link it to you. Diablo for review. Uh, do you think you'll play Stormgate as a pro going to tournaments and such? That would be fun, wouldn't it? Okay. Good review. Thanks. Earlier today, I gave a tutorial on how to stop one of the cheesiest Warcraft 3 rushes in existence 
the immediate three peasant, three militia tower rush before your hero has even started, let alone finished. This man said he can beat me, even though I believe I have the theoretical counter to it as a night elf player. Let's see if it's true. We played against someone else playing this build and he was watching and he was shaking his head thinking I can do better than that. So let's see, can he? This self-professed, well, I don't know actually how he advertises himself, but this self-professed three peasant, three militia tower rush nerd has the goal to challenge my night elf. So let's see, let's see. They should be coming anytime now. And uh, where are the peasants? I think he's late. No, there we go. There we go. Let's see. Now I told you guys, let's find out if I'm a filthy liar. I told you guys, I can stop this rush by following the same standard build order we always do, which is what you see, and then not immediately filling my gold mine. That's what I said I would do. And my hero will be the keeper of the grove. And my skill will be force of nature, the treants. And after I've got four on wood, I shift click one wisp off the trees and I build an Ancient of Wonders right next to the towers, as close as possible, and I fill the mine. First thing I do with the Ancient of War is I make an archer. And every Moonwell will be made away from the towers so that it doesn't die to them, but still close enough so that archer doesn't need to go back far to heal. If I'm exposed as a fraud here, I will need to relearn how to stop these towers. If I am exposed as a fraud, there's the first archer starting to hit some peasants. We stop making wisps for now and we save up enough for a moon well. Now I'm getting a little nervous here. This looks pretty good. He's got four fully finished towers in production. And here we go with the second moon well. There we go, he's got three towers. Not bad at all. We uproot. And we gotta kill those peasants. This looks a lot better than the build we just faced. Can he do it? Let's make more treants. And more moonwells. Kill the peasants. Let's kill the tower that's still in production. Okay, now, gonna make another archer. I think we're holding. I think this was a better iteration, perhaps, but I think we're holding. And maybe something went wrong for him? Uh, a crucial miscalculation? <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> Try again. Continue. Same name. A small little calculation. It happens to the best of us. It happens to the best of us. Yeah, normally this works. Uh, let's try it again. We'll do a remake. We'll do a remake. Uh, actually, I don't remember his name, so I'm just going to rename it Zoni. Uh, Vladimir, can you tell your friend that the game name is Zoni? I don't remember the numbers in his name. See if he's in the channel. Yeah, one small mistake. I'm <laughs> He, <laughs> it's a good, it's a good rush. It's a good rush. It's not, e it's not easy to halt if you don't know. I do think he should bring more militia. Yeah, uh, maybe he forgot the first militia. Uh, let's go. Uh, iteration number two. Are ready? Usually the towers get built at the back of the base. I wasn't familiar with this variant Euro special. He could try to aggro creeps to help, yeah. He better get it perfect this time, or I may not believe that it's doable. <laughs> and, and as always, I try to like not make special... I try, I try not to like blind counter it in advance, right? Like I'm supposed to... If I were to blind counter it it's in advance, I would just make my Ancient of War at home instead of like hoping to creep this camp but i have to play like it's normal meta which includes well which would normally include scouting and ancient of war creeping and 
counter expanding. You generally do go for an open and loose base layout against humans, so this is relatively natural, at least as far as I'm concerned. Space for two lores behind the tree. And scouting would only happen like 30 seconds from now for me. And I certainly wouldn't scout the moment I see the militia coming in. So again, the moment you see the militia, don't fill up the mine. Immediately get four wisps on wood. This time he's building it next to the gold mine, which I gotta say is a far superior position than before. We go for the keeper of the grove. We have four wisps on wood. Next one goes into the gold mine. And again, we're gonna make shop. But this time shop has no space. Only here. Well, we'll do it. Then soon we'll have enough for an archer. We make the archer. As you can see, the build order is pretty clean from my side. Uh, it pretty much works. Get the wisps a bit away from danger. Keeper of the Grove is gonna focus the peasants. Four. Yeah, this, this does look better. Let's see how it plays out. I'm curious. In comes the next archer. We start attacking the towers. In the moment we can make a moon well, we do. Okay, not much point keep attacking the tower, so we just start hitting the peasants. We make a moon well. Now we start hitting tower again, now that the peasants are being threatened and pressured. Forcing him to repair, which allows us free hits without him walking away. We make another shot to free up supply. So we can make an archer and then cancel the shop. Now we're at 21 over 20. And you see, it's really just a numbers game. It's the amount of health versus... I'm not even using the shop to fight here. So the shop was entirely a waste. But I can get clarity and then do a strong counterattack. And I think we can start creeping. So I'm sure he has many fond memories of beating people with this build and so do I but at the end of the day this is a numerical counter you do have enough stuff it shouldn't work in this scenario and we we go creep takes it as a sport thank you for the stuff appreciate it and that should be it I don't think he left yet so he might be bamboozling me this might be Phase number two, Griffin's coming soon. Oh, never mind. <laughs> GG. Thank you for joining and becoming a member. Uh, I don't know your name. Let me translate this. It's uh, Korean. Detect language. Mango. Thank you, Mango. Mangguo. Mangguo. Ah, no, that's Chinese. Wait. Come on, Google. Google tells me it's Mango. It's Korean, man, isn't it? Oh no, it is Chinese. Oh, I saw it wrong. <laughs> wow, I actually know how to read some Chinese Korean, so that's pretty embarrassing. It's really small, my screen. It is, okay, it is Chinese letters. I see it now, Chinese words. Mangguo. All right, cool. Anyway, uh, better cut that out, editor. Uh, anyway, sub to the grub. Thanks for watching. Yeah, hey, cut that out. Cut that out. I was always getting ignore at everywhere since I'm lacking in existence. Now Grub should notice me for a moment. Lacking in existence? Dude, we're getting metaphysical here. We're getting like smoking a joint on a Sunday afternoon, man. Do we even exist? What? Surely you learned to read Hangul when in Korean? A bit, but I forgot it mostly. Now I can just recognize which language it is. Is it Japanese, Korean, or Chinese? I can tell. Trust me, <laughs> I can't read it though. I would like to see Grub to do the raid I wished for. I'm Mango. Yeah, it's Chinese. Yes, yes. What, what, uh, what raid are you thinking? It's a Chinese figure of speech. It means lacking of presence, hard to get noticed. Okay. I'm going to try it with my wife. She speaks Chinese. I'll be like, do you ever feel like we lack in existence? 
And I want to see if she gets the reference. If she says yes, then I'm in trouble. So, Mango, what build would you like to see? Can you do the burn, raid, and kill thing? Fire Lord, burn, pillage, raid, and kill. Okay. All right, I'll do that. I'll do that. Hi, hi. Yeah, it's a nice chat, Roger Frenzen. We are a team of four. Kirby, let's play Dota. <laughs> no, I'm good, thanks. I bet you can't defend the tower rush while making and eating a banana sandwich. <laughs> I can. I've done it before. No Dota anymore? No, I will. Tomorrow is a full day of Dota on Twitch. It's really hard for me to see your stream because I'm from Malaysia. Our time would be the opposite. Right. You're looking at uh, 7 a.m. or something right now, Mango. Are you going to be streaming on Twitch in two days? Yes, El Tortuga. I will be. Burn, raid, and kill. That's the deal. Sounds good. Will do. Can you do the burrow rush, though? Ah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, we'll start... Uh, we'll start with that. And then we'll do the... But this guy was lacking in existence, guys. I'll do Burrow Rush, and I'll do the Fire Fire Lord Raider thing. They're in the queue, okay? We got two things coming up. I just hope the soft relaunch of Warcraft 3 is good. Uh, me too, best Korean Jesus. But first, we need to have it confirmed that it's actually happening. They tested the waters to see if it could happen and what people want if it does happen. But it didn't confirm that it is going to happen. I tried Frost Griffin today, the Killer Angel, and we, we just we couldn't get there. Are you testing the water whether YouTube or Twitch gives you more audience? No, I know Twitch has more audience for me right now. Uh, YouTube has been uh, around 1500 to 2000 concurrent viewers, which I think is awesome since I never stream here. That's really cool. On Twitch, I'm usually around three to 4,000 viewers. So it is no comparison yet. But it is a different audience, which is really cool. Grubby do Ogre Sound, please. Which one? Which one? There's so many. Hey, Grubby, I'm from France, says Athanas Risso. I discovered your content recently. I really enjoy your humor. Thanks. How do the audiences differ? Well, YouTube viewers are a lot more intelligent and handsome. That's the main difference. Hey, Logan. But don't tell Twitch viewers that. I'm getting a lick bath from Logan. He wants some attention. Do you mind if I just... He needs to go to the restroom. I'll put up a replay for you. No, oh, you're just saying that. There's an auto camera, right? Yeah, there's an auto camera. Okay, we can, we can watch uh, Zoni Perspective. Look, my dog is ready to go. We go to the toilet, Logan? Okay. Ready to work.
ready to work. Ready to work. Job's done. Ready to work. Ready done. to work. Job's done. Job's done. Pretty good resource management. Stalonis, thank you for the sub. For the for the support, for the joining. Our town is under job done. Were we not more handsome ten years ago though? Ah. I never seriously considered streaming on YouTube, if that's what you're wondering why I didn't do it before, Adjectam. YouTube made great improvements in streaming recently, didn't they? Made it easier. Before, Twitch was just the de facto go-to. No, I'm not going to play Dota 1, Dusan Milo, Milo Jevic. Thank you for the invite. Least I can do, I watch so many hours of your stuff on YouTube. I appreciate that, Stalonis. The doggo can fix. Oh, he's not back yet. He's eating. He'll come up later. Logan! Come on! Logan, come here. He's coming. The star of the show. Hey, Logan. How old is Logan now? Oh, he's almost eight. I can't believe it. He's so young to me. He acts so young, but that's how it is. Take it. That's my hand. How does it feel to be outshined by your own dog? I love it. it, takes the attention off me. If I meet people on the street and they're enamored with my dog, well then I don't need to be awesome. <laughs> I can just watch him and the persons that enjoy him. I guess I'm starting to lack my existence again, Lamau. I don't know why I'm not finding a game. Look, I can fix it. I'll relog to another account. Because my MMR is too high on this account. Hey Grubby fan here from Lebanon. I watch your stream every night. Love the attitude and the shenanigans. Keep it up. Uh, cheers, dude. That's cool. The soft relaunch for now is just a blizzard-induced rumor. There's no confirm that it's going to happen. They were just considering what people might want out of it if it were to happen. Oh, whoa. 
Oh, I found a game right before I logged out to my other account. Okay, great. So, for this one, I should do the request from Mango. And then Burrow Rush will be later. I had a viewer join me on my YouTube live stream, which is now. His name is Mango and he's from Malaysia. And his name is... He just, uh, he just joined as a member and he said... He had this cool strategy idea. It's Fire Lord and Raiders with the goal of torching the opponent's base over and over via a series, a flurry of attacks, hit and run attacks. So let's do it. Let's do it. Which also means I shouldn't have opened with an altar. Ah, yes. And many people don't. And some fess up to that. It's okay. It's understandable. It's very uh, stressful for some. Some people are natural performers and others prefer not to be watched as they are dissected by a professional dissector. That's okay. So we go next. Next game. GG. Which means I should probably do the relog to the other account so I can meet this guy again and pick up another free win. Right? Let's go. What was his name? I started to watch your video past few months ago and it made me interested in Warcraft competition since I didn't like to play that before while playing Frozen Throne. Yeah, Warcraft competition is super interesting. Are you playing Dota for streaming or do you have a long time plan for yourself there? Oh, hold that thought. Okay, stop holding that thought. I'm, I'm sure that probably hurts. Vladimir and Ivan. I will tell you one more time. I'm not going to play Dota 1 with you. Please respect my boundaries and my desire and my wishes. Thank you. We are going to be playing a strategy that's requested by a Malaysian viewer here on this YouTube live stream. And it is a strategy that involves a Fire Lord and Raiders with the intent to burn, pillage and raid and then run away again. Grunts, Raiders and Fire Lord were the requested build. Well, that's what we're gonna do. He just joined as a member on YouTube as well, which uh, is super appreciated. And we got a cool build coming up here with Grunts into Fire Lord. I have played Grunts Fire Lord once before. Actually, bit of a funny story, bit of a long story. Let me tell it to you. In 2004, I and three other Western players, one from Sweden, one from Croatia, and one from France, traveled to South Korea to compete in some of the most prestigious ongoing leagues that there were. These were broadcasted on television and sponsored by big tech brands or big mobile telephony brands. Esports in Korea was booming thanks to StarCraft 1's amazing and unexpected and well-built popularity. If you got into any random taxi in Korea and they asked what you were doing here in Korea in a kind and interested way and you said pro gamer, they'd go, Ah, pro gamer! Ah, pro gamer! Starcraft? And then you say, uh, no, uh, Warcraft 3, and they're like, ah. And that disappointment that it wasn't Starcraft, that actually uh, explained much to the state of things of the leagues that we were slated to join in Korea. After all, Warcraft 3 was not as popular as Starcraft. And in order to salvage the popularity of the game, our liaisons in Korea told us 
that it's not just good enough to be a pro player anymore. <laughs> no. You need to entertain the people extra much in order to keep their attention and in order to keep the game the very scene alive and i knew that may even have global consequences so all of us were very impressed by our liaisons sincere and uh earnest message that we should be uh not just competing but playing in a very entertaining manner and we had a show match coming up four kings which we were the west versus the east and that show match was not to be taken too seriously it's just a show match after all right it's just a show match just to entertain the fans save the world save the game that's the message and we understood that loud and clear so all of us went back to the drawing board and we started considering what kind of build we could do to entertain the fans while still having a fighting chance many of us started coming up with builds we had never done before but we nonetheless trained very hard not going for the standard heroes but we would go for things like fire lord grunts like i'm doing now for instance and i had to come up with a tavern build that made sense for orc my allies, Fav, Zeus, Todd, and Fury, we all came up with tavern builds or offbeat fun strategies designed to entertain and save the game. Our five Korean opponents played the best Warcraft they could. All the standard meta, all the standard cookie cutter. Yeah, they played their best. A show match is to be taken seriously. Screw saving the game via interesting builds. No, we gotta show those white boys that they're gonna get spanked very disappointing it was pretty close my game but all of us lost 0-5 that's one way of saving national and local interest i suppose <laughs> like wow look at these korean players they really deserve to be sponsored and followed they 5-0 at the foreigners <laughs> anyway that's the last time i believed anyone on how we should play so yeah that's uh that's the last time I seriously, and the only time I seriously played Fire Lord first in a quote unquote competition. After all, it was not a competition, was it? Well, it was more of a competition than we thought. <laughs> Definitely. And since then, I had. Oh no! Since then, I've taken a resolution. You know what resolution? Since then, I've learned something. And it's not never believe a Korean laser. No. It's always take show matches seriously. It always seems fun to not try until you lose while not trying and you realize your opponent was. And not just that, but in trying lies the major entertainment value. By doing your best, you're respecting the viewer, your opponent, and yourself. And if if they think a clowny game is more fun, where none of you try their best, well, that's on them then. And I don't think that's really a show match. I have reshaped my understanding of what a show match is. For me, a show match is like one of those demonstrations in martial arts. You may not be trying to actually kill each other, but it is a demonstration you are going to show your skills and it just so happens that in a game of warcraft 3 i think you show that best by actually just playing your best i could understand a show match where both of you are in cohorts with each other and just like in martial arts you're not actually scoring points like in a boxing match but you have decided how you're going to make the game look like that I'm gonna get to torrents and you're gonna get to knights and you're gonna get inner fire and polymorph and I'm gonna get healing wards and, and, and bloodlust and I think that's a really cool thing to do that would be really entertaining uh, for the fans and then you're still playing your best but with an altered rule set I think that's pretty cool but if you have no agreement with your opponent then I think you should just do your best and ever since that moment in 2004 I resolved to do my best in show matches and I'm happy to say that I practically never lost a show match again in StarCraft 2 
Heroes of the Storm, Warcraft 3, and even Dota 2. <laughs> it may not matter much, but as a born and bred competitor, it's a lot more fun to play it in that manner than to uh, just not try and play something silly. I think people appreciate that uh, attitude more than I don't care. He has Windwalk, so he could escape this. He's probably gonna get a healing potion. <laughs> He's stuck! He's stuck and he's getting electrocuted. Uh, a lot funnier than when it happened to my electrician. Uh, so let's uh, cancel this heal solve with an ensnare. Got raiders coming, we're burning. We've got pillage. Ready to ride! Support! Uh, Raiders in Chinese is uh, Langxi, no? Lang... Langxi or something? I believe. And uh, I believe grunts in Chinese are called Ta Ji. Big G. And ghouls are called dogs because they look like dogs or, or small G. The, after all, both are made with half key G, grunts and ghouls. But grunts are bigger, so you've got the small and the big G. At least that's the slang for them in the Warcraft tournament scene that I play. Lang Chi, Wolf Rider, yeah. And then uh, Frostworm is uh, Bin Long, Ice Dragon. I probably don't say the the tone correct, but because I don't I don't know which which tone it is. Been long, I don't know. This is amazing strat, isn't it? Yeah, it's very aggressive. Both Raiders and Fire Lord are some of the most aggressive rush strategies. And there's one player that actually used Raiders and Fire Lord to win many games against high level players, including against uh Maple or Neutron, the Russian Night Elf player. Very, oh, it's very strong. Let's get a heal scroll, speed scroll, go again. Xiao, yeah, Xiao Ji. Small G. We need more gold. Uh, Grubby, not really related, but this show match story reminded me of the monitor crisis at Dota 2 Major. What happened there? You can do it at Pro, 2v2 Blood Mage Fire Lord would do the trick on destroying one base economy in a short time. Yeah, you really like fire, don't you? Fire Lord, Blood Mage, Flame Strike. <laughs> GG, GG. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, remember, as always, sub to the grub. Players were used to 120Hz monitors in the tournament provided once with 60Hz. That's pretty bad, but that's nothing. You know what I experienced once? I experienced... The tournament PCs, this was at a tournament in China, the tournament PCs were... A monitor. Uh, do you mean... Yes, the tournament PC was a monitor. Have you guys ever seen that? Everything. It's kind of like a vertical laptop. Have you ever seen these? So we have this fat monitor. This was maybe in 2007 or so. Monitor is about yay thick. Uh, maybe 60-70% of the thickness of the width of my face. An all-in-one PC. Yeah. Yeah, an all-in-one PC. And it was so bloody slow performance. 
it could not run Warcraft 3 properly. And that's weird, because I ran Warcraft 3 on a triple E PC. And the triple E PC is as light as a newspaper, and they were given away for free when you got an internet subscription to uh, an, a, a national Dutch internet subscription, uh, Ziggo. They gave you triple E PCs for free, because I guess by this time they knew these things are never going to be the next PlayStation 5 or Xbox. They're a gimmick. They were like 50 euros or 100 euros. And they started giving away for free. I, I told myself, what if I could play Warcraft 3 on it? And I tried it, I installed it, and it ran okay. A bit laggy, but okay. And I tell you what, at this tournament I was at, the all-in-one ran it worse than the triple EPC, which has like almost no power at all. So... What the problem that was happening, I needed to do, and I don't think you can see that in the settings anymore. But basically, what I had to do is go to options, sound, and you could choose, um, you could choose like sound channels, I believe, in the original Warcraft 3. I don't see it now, but I believe you could do it then. You could choose like 16 sound channels or eight sound channels. You had to move it to like two. And only then could you play with a bit less lag. But the problem is, when you had that few sound channels, it didn't give you all the callouts. So you could hear like this sound effect and then that sound effect. And then what it wouldn't say is your base is under attack. <laughs> but that, I, or maybe there wasn't sound channels, you had to put it on low or something, but it resulted in the same thing where it didn't give you certain callouts. Their sound card was, in fact, not working perfectly. That's correct. Your sound card works terribly. Yeah, that's a, that's a great strat. That's a great fun to do, Mango. Now let's do the Orc Burrow Rush. Yes. Why do you always kill critters? Well, they could body block you. Speaking about potatoes, when are you going to be upgrading your PC? Uh, this week. I want it ready before the next weekend. I'm going to be switching to uh, i7 uh, 13 1700K CPU. 12th generation. I'm on 8th, uh, 9th generation now with my i9 9900K CPU. It's going to be four years newer model. Upgrading it for why? Uh, for future ops. It can be D4, Dota 2 or something else. I show you guys the forbidden strategy, the burrow rush. Burrows can fight, but they're not great at fighting. So they're really only good as a temporary holdover. Think of a raft in a storm as you wait for rescue. You can stay on the raft for a bit, but after that, you're going to need a boat to make your escape and make your rescue and make it work. So same thing here. Farseer, grunts, and then burrow rush. Now, the thing about burrows is they don't need to wait for a war mill. Uh, watchtowers come from a war mill, but burrows can be made immediately. So that's kind of nice. <laughs> so uh, let's send our peon over, and hopefully by the time it arrives, we have enough resources to build one. I gotta say, it's not ideal to go up against undead with this strat, as they have one available military unit immediately in the uh, ghoul. We're gonna put all three workers to work at the same time so that we have exactly 40 lumber when they return, which is what we need for a burrow. We're also cutting out one worker in our opening build in order to uh, afford a grunt and a burrow. And then we need a war mill as quickly as possible. Now you can't build on blight. Oh, you can. Wait, I thought you can't build on blight. <laughs> Yes, you can. So, let's make a grunt. And there comes the ghoul. But, 
You see, two goals in fact. You see, the thing is... He's not mining any lumber right now, is he? I'm just kidding, dude. Mm -hmm. Be happy to. Or am I? We wait till he's back. We wait till he's back. And then... Oh! Here he goes again. Uh oh. Okay, well, um, I don't really have a plan B. Uh oh. Well, he's still not mining lumber. He's not going tier 2, that means no meat wagons. Build more burrows! We should get pillage. Do you think that his buttocks are clenching? He's like, this better not work, this dumb thing. Every time they cancel the tower, you get free hits. I think in moments like this, as a player, I, if I'm getting rushed, I always think they know something I don't do that, don't they? They know that this still works or they wouldn't be doing it. Now I'm getting nervous now. Hey, Ziggurats, I like it. But do you have the brawn to protect it? And now we're getting free hits. I think he's uh, he's not making the right calls at the moment. And we have pillage as well. So we're getting money every time we hit his buildings. With grants anyway. I don't have the lumber for a watchtower, but I do have for a burrow. Suddenly you realize, as the undead, like, damn, I don't have much lumber. I've been sending my ghouls out a lot, and it felt good for a while, but now suddenly it doesn't. It sucks. What can you do? Not much. Ah, the party is around the Hail Mary play. Meanwhile, we're getting dozens of gold from Pillage. Dozens, I tell you. Uh, among all these buildings, Altar is actually the worth the most gold per damage. Necropolis is not bad, but it's only gold, no lumber, because it didn't cost any lumber when you made it. So it actually, uh, yeah, it's about how much lumber and gold did it cost and how much health did it get. I think you guys can have a lot of fun with this kind of build too. Even if the burrow gets cancelled. You're still getting no mining. It's the hardest against human. If he was human, that'd be 
well damn impossible, wouldn't it? I don't need to be, do I? Counter attack. He's uh, migrating. He's going deeper on the ground. There's too much panic in this town. Citizen's arrest is legal. Uh, sometimes. DK POV. It will be my honor. <laughs> to new beginnings. Nice burrow tower rush, yeah. You think he has something elsewhere? Will pillage decrease the enemy gold? No, it will not. They already spent the gold. If they spend 200 gold on a building and you kill it with grunts, you get 100 gold, exactly 50%. The way that they lose 200 gold is because the building is dead. Right? It's dead. But they don't lose it again. They're not pillaging their coffers, but their investment in the structure. GG, if you enjoyed it, remember to sub to the grub. Hey Grub, what would be the most broken unit to transfer from one race to another? Obsidian Statue is very good. Coda Beast is very good. I think destroyer for orc would be very strong. Yeah, destroyers are great. But destroyers two units. So So pillage is built to earn half the price? Yep. If you spend 180 gold, 50 wood on an altar, I get 90 gold and 25 lumber from it. If you repair it, you spend additional to repair it, raising its health, also making me get get a better percentage in the end. Of the total amount of mining. Uh, no 2v2 right now, Mango. But I, I'm glad you enjoyed the games. Kirby, I recently found your channel. I wonder if you will be uploading some beginner videos like build orders, strats, how to creep camps. Love your content. I already have that, actually. Can I show you a couple and send you some links? Marcos Arias. Yeah, let, me, let me send you a couple of links. I can't chat in my Twitch chat. You think Twitch kicked me off the platform because I'm streaming on YouTube? I'm permanently connecting to chat. I was trying to get some commands. Okay, now it works. No, it doesn't. Look at this shit. They kicked me. Look. Connecting to chat.
Works for me. Huh. I don't know why then. Oh, now it works. Weird. Creeping, expanding. There was one more guide. In order to have a good start. Hey guys and gals, what? Uh, creeping, uh, decision making. Expanding, planning a route. Planning your creep rat. Creep. Welcome to a. Okay. Creeping one. Then. This is expanding. It is another YouTube channel, yes. But we re uploaded them, but I don't remember what, where they are. So here's a couple of guides. I think I re uploaded it to our channel as well. Our YouTube channel. The links don't show. Oh, yeah, they do. Just click it. I mean, it works for me. And there's also the bloody beginner guides. Let me show you from my YouTube channel in case you don't want to go somewhere else. So this is my channel, right? And we're live right now. Uh, here are our Warcraft guides. So you click it. So most recently, we've got a human guide an orc guide, an undead guide, and a night elf guide. That's the last eight months. Guide for four and four, decision making, how to beat Crypt Lord, how to beat AI, orc versus human, orc versus elf. So this playlist might be a nice one for you. There we go. Thank you so much for bringing so many new people into Warcraft 3. Could you do a history of each race in the competitive scene? I'm specifically interested in Undead and why it was irrelevant for long. The main problem Undead had is that they couldn't expand and everyone could expand against them. If you look at Warcraft 3, it is not actually a game where expanding seems to be a large theme compared to Age of Empires and Starcraft. But actually, expanding has almost always determined which race is better. The race that is best able to expand typically takes the reins and control of the matchup. Obviously, having double income of your opponent is a big advantage. But it's not the only thing. There's many mitigating factors to an expansion. But if you look at it, human was better than expanding uh, than orc between 2005 and 10 and therefore human was beating orc a lot they were also better at tower rushing your base and then you don't have a base that's one base against nil so that's pretty good too therefore human had the advantage uh human against elf was pretty even but human was a little better at expanding and i think they had a small edge in between 2005 and 10. undead could never expand because it was a bit too expensive the Sacrificial Skull was too hard to reach, which means Graveyard needed to be part of your build order in order to get Sacrificial Skull, which would allow you to make an early Nerubian Tower. When they removed the need to have a Graveyard in order to purchase a Sacrificial Skull, now, not only is your first Nerubian at the expansion more than a minute faster, as Graveyard takes more than a minute, but you also save 215 gold. So your build order now actually works and before it didn't so fast expo as undead was a meme all they could do was go up against every other race that are constantly expanding elves fast expand against undead orc tier two fast expand five six minutes into the game human fast expand three minutes into the game and undead just was left countering 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 it was really hard and they were a little disadvantaged 
When Neo Blizzard came 2018 with the Reforged, they also wanted to sell Reforged with the idea of coming in with a new balance patch that would shake up the meta and allow for new possibilities to happen. They asked us, what do you guys think? Well, expanding is hard for Undead, so they made a number of buffs. Count the amount of buffs. Sacrificial Skull Requirement Graveyard gone. Haunted Goldmine cheaper. Haunted Goldmine Blight. Smaller radius, making it not be discovered as easily when it's a ninja goldmine before the Blight gave it away from really far. That's three. Acolyte regen more on Blight. Acolyte faster, I believe. Acolyte 10 more health. Necropolis cheaper. They buffed. Uh, they gave Sacrificial Skull. Uh, sorry, uh, Sacrificial Dagger, which allows regen in tier 1. They buffed Crypt Lord, which is an expanding hero. They buffed Dreadlord, I think, which is an expanding hero. They nerfed Blade Master, which is a harassing hero against Expand and the meta against Undead. And with all that, there's at least 11 changes that made early Undead Fast Expand better. Of course, they also buffed Night Elf Tier 1 a lot, which was good against Undead Expo. But suddenly, Undead had another option. So, uh, the options are flexibility, options are uncertainty, and that's, that's strength for the Undead. Does Alchemist heal do any damage? Nope. <laughs> nice to see you then, Seven. Why are you live on YouTube and not on Twitch? Oh, I misclicked. Figured, just go on with it. Tomorrow might be TikTok. Gotta rub the sleep salt from my eyes and be like, oh my god, I'm on TikTok. What race strat would you recommend for a new player? Well, any of my bloody beginner guides. Yeah, it's nice to stream on YouTube, Alex Andrew. I have bloody beginner guides if you navigate on my channel to the, the help guides. Uh, just go there. Shall we do a beginner strat for a race now? Uh, for any of the races? Whatever you prefer, Coolgate. The frame in the background is not aligned to the content. Oops. That drops faith in humanity, doesn't it? Let me fix it. Hold on. <sighs> Much better. Let's do an orc bloody beginner. Orc mirror against Yo Mama. No, Yokohama. Okay. Hop. GG. GG.
Best new meta. Thanks for the guide. No worries. Rematch. Leave again? Maybe he didn't like the other map. That's why he left. Okay. Maybe he just didn't like the map. Right, guys i'm playing a beginner strategy a uh, guide for beginners on how to play warcraft 3 and i just jumped into the game i want to show you kind of what you can do in a game that will help you to get started and if anything it can just be a fun entertaining experience as i play this latter game so 5 peons start put all in the gold mine take one build an altar train new peons have the first one build a burrow and then the next one, build a barracks. Then fill up your gold mine with five exactly and send everything else to lumber until you have 16 out of 21 food. Once you have that, wait for 40 lumber and build your second burrow. Make sure they're within range of each other so that the crossfire that they have can protect each other. You can see that they can protect each other, so that's a good thing. Now, at 1621, we wait for enough gold to build a grunt. We make a grunt. In Warcraft 3, you have a game where you never really want to be sitting still. I remember sometimes in Starcraft 2, I will be sitting still because my stalkers are waiting for potential medevacs to fly into my main. And I want to have stalkers there to snipe it. Six stalkers want to take it down. But in Warcraft 3, it's much more death ball -y and hero focused. So you want to make sure that you're always doing something. Either you're actively defending against the current threat, or you're attacking an opponent, or you're creeping. And that's what we want to be doing most of the time. So go to the first green camp you can find and start killing it. Now note, I didn't scout yet, but I can send a wolf to start scouting. We take one of the hurt wolves from the first camp, we go over and we scout the opponent. Now we wait for 315 gold, and when we have it, we go to tier 2. Very classic opener, pretty much always works. We go to tier 2 by upgrading our great hold to a stronghold. We creep the next camp, we take a look. War mail, racks, voodoo lounge. As always, you should compare an opponent's build to your own. I also have a war mail. I also have a barracks and a voodoo lounge, but I don't have a war mail. And I'm teching. So he also has a second barracks. So he has two more buildings than me. What that means is he cannot possibly ever afford tier two. As my dog is having a bit of a dream. He cannot afford tier 2. Additionally, War Mail only serves to do three things at tier 1. Upgrades for Grunts, upgrades for Headhunters, and Spiked Barricades upgrade for Towers and Buildings. The second thing it can do, it enables the production of Headhunters. And the third thing, it enables the production of Watchtowers. I'm not attacking him, so he doesn't need defensive Watchtowers. That means he could be tower rushing me. Additionally, he has the second barracks building. Barracks can only make grunts or headhunters at tier one. He can already make grunts without war mail. So by reasoning, we can see that most likely he's gonna headhunter tower rush me. I hope you see how the logic reaches that point. Now, it could be that he is not going to use his second racks, he's not going to use his war mill, and he's just going to tier 2 late. And if that's true, then he is being inefficient. 
And I will be wrong. But I will be wrong against someone who is inefficient. Whereas if I'm right and I prepare for that and I expect the tower rush, then I'm right against someone that's efficient, which means at least I'm prepared. And if I think that he's not going to use it and not make headhunters and towers, then I'm wrong against someone that's being efficient. And that's the most dangerous thing you can have. So we are going to get Panda. We assume that the most logical thing is also the real thing that's happening. That's the safest way to play these things. So we get a hero that excels at early defense with the Panda against headhunters. We stay at home more. We are not being as efficient, uh, creeping and letting ourselves drop to low health. Because why should we take a risk? We will eventually win so long as we do not get overrun by these headhunters. So we go find him, we scout it. We know he's Moss headhunters. And you can see how our goal of defending can translate rapidly to an attack. Because our defense of a would-be headhunter tower rush is a defense that I think is Moss Grunts. And it's good whether it's on his side of the map or mine. I just need to make sure I don't get towered. So I send a peon around my base to see if he's making hidden towers. And then we strike. And we start fire breathing. Fire breathing? Is it fire breathing or breathing? It depends if we see it as a verb. So now you see upgraded grunts with the brute strength. We sentry ward, we heal solve. We attack, we make shamans. So this is a very scientific approach to the game. We scout it. We went for something normal. We would have gone second hero shadow, a bestiary and a totem. But because we saw, hey, it's mass headhunters and it can't be anything else. And he is going to stay tier one, which we confirm visually now. We knew, just make mass grunts. Our normal plan was four grunts. But we never need to stop making it. Because even though it's a bad strat to go mass grunts, it is the best thing I could do against this. So you always have your standard, which I see as the stem of a tree, the main trunk of a tree. And then every deviation from an opponent, deviation from the expectation, is a major branch outwards. This trunk says four grunts, and there's a branch here early on at the base of the tree that says if two racks war mill, then infinity grunts. Right? Oh, no two racks, no, no two racks war mill? Okay, we go on. Four grunts, four grunts. And then there's all these branches, and eventually you, you keep increasing your understanding of your responses when it comes to an RTS. And it's super satisfying and interesting every time when you learn something new. Uh, I think it's like that about anything in life. It's not just about games. Uh, enjoying getting better at games and whatnot. Anything you're passionate about, if you learn something new that you didn't know yesterday, that's satisfying. And that that's meaningful, super fun. So I'm not showing you my all-in-one, it works against everything strat, because we had to adapt to a situation, but I still think it was an interesting uh, game. And if you enjoyed it, remember to sub to the grub. Hit that sub button at the bottom and hit like. It really helps the channel. And then we can spread the love of Warcraft 3 to more people. Thanks for watching. What if he's Infinity Grunts with Warmo upgrades? That's possible, but 1-1 one -one upgrades on tier 1 is not a lot better than brute strength at tier two and it costs more so now i get a second hero our grunts are comparable but i have two heroes which is an advantage youtube voice disabled yeah uh, let me see. Hey, Grubby, I see that you're ancient now. Oh, no, that's from yesterday's Twitch. Uh, wait, I don't even know where I can see a backlog of my YouTube uh, <laughs> notifications. 
But Thomas, Wallingford, and Mr. WTF Dude, thanks for becoming a Tier 1 supporter. Thanks for joining as a member. Appreciate it. Grubby, what is your MBTI type? You seem like an ISTJ. I don't know what that is. Shall I take a test? I have a free personality test here. But the skeptic in me says, I take this test, they take my info, and then they prepare the report, but they don't show it to me yet. And then I have to give my email, and then they'll send it. And then I have to pay $10 to unlock it. So I don't know where I can take a test, but I'll take a test if you want. But I don't know if I believe in it. It's the same with girls. Every branch is leading to me being wrong. <laughs> nice. If the moon were made of cheese, would you eat it? No, I like cheese, but if I eat too much, it's too salty. And the moon is pretty big. So I believe I'd be thirsty beyond compare. Why didn't you go Blade Panda? Oh, I was trying to make the build easier for beginners, Mike Browski. Farseer is much easier to use than Blade Master. Can you show Undead Beginner? Sure. You want ghouls or fiends? Dumb question, is Warcraft worth the 30 bucks in its current state? Uh, honestly, if you're not like very good at melee, I doubt that it's worth 30 for you. I cannot recommend it. We are undead against undead. Actually, I've been asked to show a beginner way to play undead. But I never know what I'm gonna get in the opponent. So, uh, I think I'll do something that should be quite good. A fun cheese. I believe part of learning the ropes of an RTS is to learn your limits. And you won't know your limits unless you try to go extreme. So let me tell you what I've done so far, and then I'll tell you where we're gonna go. First thing we do, we start the game, we make one acolyte, we send all the acolytes to gold, and we take an acolyte and we immediately build crypt and an altar at the same time we hold on four acolytes make the ziggurat and then we make the fifth acolyte that will go to the mine i want to play a simple strategy here and i'm going to it is going to be no scout acolyte you know why because many times a blind all-in is a great way to get a feel for the game. And that's what we're going to do. We start ghouls immediately at the crypt when it finishes. We go for a crypt lord first. After the third ghoul in production, one, two, three, we make a second cigarette. And after that, we will be looking for an opportunity to make a second crypt. So we're essentially going triple crypt. Two crypts and a crypt lord. And we're gonna unsummon everything that doesn't help us in the here and now. We'll sell everything. We are not going to prepare for any future. So we'll unsummon our altar the moment it's done finishing the crypt. We're going to creep with the main purpose of getting lots of corpses to summon beetles and skeletons and we're also selling our town portal because when we go in there's no going back and we also make a better build layout next time so that i'm not stuck here unsummon this unsummon this
make second crit. And then third cigarette. So you unsummon, you sell TP, you unsummon the everything. And now we're pretending to expand. And we will creep it just for corpses. Don't get your ghouls hurt. We don't have time to cycle them back home for healing. Let your summons do the tanking. Impale. And that's it. We're done. We make one more acolyte. We start making ghouls. Acolyte is to get a foot in the door. Can I ask you about your car's extended warranty? Oh, Hoochie Mama. He may know us. It doesn't matter. Just keep making ghouls from two crits. You don't need micro either. Look, we're just gonna shove into his base. Turn this on. Make skeletons. Second level beetles. Rally your ghouls in his base. Send a little bit of stuff everywhere. And then start making ziggurats, which you need for food, seeing as how we're food capped. You're gonna make Nerubians from it. You can deny one or two ghouls with dagger, which also gives healing that he will need to spend effort to regen, uh, to remove the regen. Uh, we have like 25 units. Alright? It would take a micro god to stop this. This is a lot easier to do than to stop. What do you think? <laughs> up to the grub and we did a good deed today we did a good deed it's very strong you have been promoted to duelist why is happy not playing like this well happy could stop what i just did uh quite well quite well i would probably not kill more than two units it is a brute force tactic a brute force tactic yep how do you even predict that well the acolyte the first step to predicting it is his acolyte should be active and checking what's happening in my base he should send a skeleton to see if i'm actually expanding he should see my base selling my tp Selling my altar and selling my shop and making a second crypt. The moment he sees that, mass towers, lots of units, and don't expose yourself at the creep camp with four red ghouls. Can you please try to do the rising of the peasants? Yeah, a very iconic and current and topical request. Rising of the peasants is actually something that's happening in the netherlands right now <laughs> no we do not want to take environmental measures to drop nitrogen in our soil livestock and agricultural exploitation is crucial for the food that we eat stop mixing in and mingling your politics and your environmental petty desires Vote for the farmers. Yes, the peasants uprising is uh, a current and topical strategy. And we are going to do that right now. Yeah. Who, sa who said we've got our head in the sand, us gamers? I am here to represent my part in the peasant uprising. 
We are devoted. We are highly devoted to our peasants here at Grub Industries. In fact, I'm so devoted, I'll go Paladin and max the aura. And if you do not give us what we want and need, may the holy light struck you down, you sinner. What is my favorite farming tool? The hoe. I like hoes. They're very useful for spitting around in the dirt, raking and spitting. We start by creeping this, and hopefully we get a Scourge Bone Chimes. I'm more of a scythe guy myself. Ah, the scythe. What a classical tool and implement. The scythe. Very useful for uh, taking the wheat from the chaff. It requires surprising amounts of uh, muscle power to operate it. We often see the Grim Reaper or the peasants swinging scythes around like they're made of paper. But it's not so simple. Not at all. You need to put your hips into it if you want to make some good scything action. What would you ask of me? Don't you like writing essays, Garby? I love writing essays. In fact, I'm due a 200 word essay tomorrow, but I'm here streaming on YouTube. I just can't help myself. No one else available. True shot. Very good aura for peasants. Very, very good aura for peasants. I can make use of True Shot if I go tier 3 and I get an orb of fire. True Shot works for Paladin's anti air attack. But otherwise, I would much prefer not to. Not to uh, use True Shot at all. I think I'm gonna have to sell it. It's useless for me. God. I'm really hitting the jackpot with items, am I not? Boots of 12, a freaking lash. What is it? I am not afraid. Right. Did they buff Paladin? I am not. I know he was always that big. What would you ask of me? It shall be done. Yeah, this item really sucks. For my people. Hey, the spacing got messed up. Did you see that? Buy six. Looks like one word. Literally unplayable. What is it? Thoughts on Paladin being able to heal himself like in WoW? That would be way too strong. The game is balanced around that not being possible. <laughs> I need my defend upgrade. Oh, Panda. Panda is so good, guys. How are we gonna beat Panda with mass footies and militia? So OP, as Diva would say. 
Protoss, so OP. I just lost the footy to creep. Discuss. Yes, Orb of Darkness. That's how it starts, young paladin. How much vision does tower give? Do I immediately get vision? Yeah, I immediately get vision. I need to stay out of his vision. Okay, perfect. Cloak kind of sucks. Oh, come on. What is all this agility? I mean, I guess I'm attacking pretty fast, but seriously, man. Oh, damn, it's daytime. You know, in Dungeons and Dragons, if you're lawful, good. Like uh, Buzan the Fearless purportedly is. And you start making skeletons? You turn chaotic evil. Job's done. I am not afraid. What is it? What? Yes, you know. What would you ask of me? Let me face the peril. Oh. Act your call. Sorry, guys. I know they're fun. What would you ask of me? Especially if you have two, it suddenly becomes a thing. It becomes funny. I am not but I've got better items to get. Act your call. Almighty people. Let me face the peril. Almighty I don't need all this stuff. Blue shark's face. I know. It's very upsetting. Let me face the battle. I just... I'm looking for an aura item here. So far... <laughs> he has either not noticed or he doesn't care. What would you I don't know which one is scarier. It shall be done. No boots yikes. Don't yikes me, young man. It shall be done. I'm still your superior as a sous chef. Enjoy finally seeing you live. Follow you from 2010. Yo, cool dude. Thanks, man. Devotion 3. If he has Chimera, Chimera, I straight up hand to God lose. It's the one thing I can't stop. Hippogriff Riders, I can stop them, but Chimera, we lose. Even double Quel'Thalas Orb of Darkness would not have saved me. Oh, he has become aware. I cannot finish this, sorry. It's been fun. Damn it! What about the rest of them?
Yeah, <laughs> I am devoted even beyond death. <laughs> Peasant uprising, you're the king. Why well, didn't vote for you? It's up to the grub. <laughs> Boot on the fearless, indeed. It's just that I have a lot of units. There were some small bumps along the way. Like I was a bit late to, to DP to my keep. You know, if we got to the keep earlier, we could have kept remaking the militia, the peasants on, on site, on location. <laughs> but uh, I was uh, predisposed. Wait, no! No, I thought about that. I had double DP. That's why I bought the second TP. So that I could TP home and save the keep before it dies. Why did I walk to the middle? Oh. No, oh, it could have been better. That strategy deserved a better outcome. Do it again. <laughs> I'm demoralized from my mistake. The beatings will continue until morale improves. Okay, I feel better already. I didn't know we had a king. I thought we were an autonomous collective. <laughs> the peasants uprising continues. But this time, this time, we no longer have the services of two barracks worth of footmen. We only have one barracks worth of footmen. Any peasants we make is going to have to be entirely from two town halls at home. Help, help, I'm being oppressed. Well, you should have thought about that before you voted me your tyrant, Kirktown. Being repressed. What? Me taking away your fundamental rights and forcing you to work for me on the land. Tilling potatoes and turnips equals repression? Well, if that's true, why don't you start a rebellion and take me to jail? Just start a rebellion then. A peasant uprising. Oh, I said I'm being impressed. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that's cool. You're impressed? Yeah, me, me too. Look at these peasants work. It's great. Oh, you're being impre <laughs> impressed. That's very good. I like my peasants impressionable and repressible and oppressible. I'm Shania Twain then. Well, that don't impress me much, Derek Peterson. To arms! What do you think footmen say when they see an abomination? Not to arms! They'll be like, for arms! Two, two legs! No, wait, that's not a leg. Ugh. <laughs> the abomination is like. That's <laughs> why they call me an abomination. You touched it though. And don't they have three arms? I don't know. Is it an arm? Was it originally an arm? Who knows? We'll just stick to the three footmen for creeping. Ready to work, all right. Off I go then. 
Let me face the pedal. What would you ask of me? Here we go again, but this time... <laughs> this time it's more peasants and fewer footmen. Defending your name. Give me a quest in your name. Don't force me to run you through. For the king. They being master. Hello. Good. As you wish. At your call, it shall be done. Yes, me lord. Right Face the pedal. We have him right where we want him. Off I go then. Right. On my way. As you wish. Ah. Sneaky. Sneaky snake. Sneaky, sneaky, snake. For my people, it shall be done. Face the pedal. Justice will be served. Justice will be served. Ready to work. All right. At your call. Yes, me lord. What? All gold. Yes, me lord. Our forces are under attack. What? Let me face the pedal. I am not afraid. All work. Off I go then. Yes, me lord. At your call. Perfect. What would you ask of me? What is it? What would you ask of me? More work? At your what is it? I am not ready. Yes, me lord. I hope he didn't see the rest. Strike! I don't think he did. Yes, me lord. Horses are under attack. As you wish. For honor. As you wish. Justice will be served. Defending your name. Oh, he knew I'm gonna do that. I love this part of the music track. What is it? It shall be done for my people. On my way. I am not <laughs> How long does this century? Okay.
shall be done for my people. And it shall be done for our people. For my people. For my people. It shall be done. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have to be mad? It's only a joke. Something in the way. It's time to stand up to the aristocracy. It's time to say until here and no further. Charge! Go, 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 go. Stop traffic jamming, man. Oh, we should cancel his altar so he can't make DK. GG. I think Ruffle GG is I appreciate that. Ruffle Leaf Game No GG feels more like a, I reject this reality. You agree? D d don't you think? It's like I reject this reality. <laughs> Got him. Oh my god, Kirby Life actually suits my time zone. Love this. Yo, Pan Man. Your opponent is never going to play Undead again, and now use your strat. Yeah, I'm sure. It's good. Yeah, nice one, Melon. Uh, I mean, uh, Mango. I think he just needs time to collect himself. Yeah, perhaps. The reality was just too unbelievable. <laughs> Ruffle without GG is like WTF I just lost to yeah. Ah Now we see the violence inherent in the system <laughs> Be quiet I order you to be quiet uh, GG sub to the grab I know it's weird, but I'd love to see you get level 6 AM with mass teleports and goblins that explodes enemy base. We have to save some things for next time. This was a... 
this was a stream took a lot of energy out of me. I kept having to think of special strats to play. But we had so much cool games. My longest stream on YouTube ever. Over six hours. I had previously done one two hour stream. This was our second YouTube stream. It was so much fun. I want to thank you guys so much for joining. And having fun. And hanging out. And being a lovely chat. We have almost no moderation. And it wasn't necessary. You guys are awesome. And thanks for joining and sharing your ideas for cool strategies and builds. Listen, strange woman lying in ponds distributing swords is no basis for a system of government. <laughs> uh, thanks, everyone. We'll see you guys next. Uh, we can do another one next week. Yeah, we'll do another YouTube stream next week. I'll announce it when. Stay tuned. Did you leave Twitch? No. I'll stream on Twitch tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Have a great night. Bye-bye.